Konnichiwa! And welcome to our kitchen. <laughs> Hi, good morning everybody. <laughs> yeah, why are we speaking Japanese this morning? Why are you speaking Japanese this I morning? I only one Japanese word. Yeah. Okay, actually they have another word for you. What? Buta. Oh, buta means pork. pork. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We're, this morning we're doing Japanese uh, pork. An introduction to uh, Japanese pork, mm -hmm. which is... Uh, now being sold in Singapore and uh, they, are, they are promoting it. That's yeah. why we are, we are helping you to understand a little bit more about Japanese pork. Do you know that there's more than 400 different brands of Japanese pork yeah. in, uh, in Japan? Wow, that's really a lot, right? That's Four, over 400, 400 brands. <laughs> Remember the number. Rem you know, later on, uh, we are going to be giving out some vouchers or so, right? Mm -hmm. okay, yeah. Because whenever you all watch our uh, live programs, you always get to win something. So, we want to make sure that uh, you, you benefit from this uh, program as well. So, so there are 400, again, 400 brands of Japanese pork. Mm. And uh, today we're going to be featuring four different brands. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Okay. Yeah. So later on, we'll talk, talk to you about it. Uh, and then we're going to show you how to do uh, a simple recipe of Hakka Tsayok using uh, Japanese pork belly. And then after that, we're going to serve it with some uh, ramen, fresh noodles with a scallion oil and then mm. using that oil that we use to fry the pork we're going to turn it into a beautiful sauce for the um, for the noodles huh yeah and then uh, we've got mm. uh, giveaways we've got yeah so you have to pay attention during the the whole live program because those things that are very important i will always repeat it <laughs> okay so so for those of you who already join us or just joining us uh, if you just tune in the important thing that you need to remember is that Japanese pork is now available in Singapore. There are over 400 brands and you can uh, easily buy them online or even at certain supermarkets. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, so but let's remember that there are 15 people who hopefully who have uh, received and yes. win the giveaway the last time. That's right. And then you would have received, um, you know, the pork belly and also some of the very lovely shabu shabu meats, yes. pork loin and pork yeah. belly. Yeah. You have a very important <laughs> task. You didn't just get the pork. Yeah, you know, because we like you. We, of course, because we like okay, them. La. We like you, we like you. But uh, what I'm saying is that you have a job to do this morning or so because you have the pork because you are our pork tasters. Mm. So I hope you get your, uh, uh, you get your uh, pot of boiling water ready and your dashi because later on when we are doing the pork tasting, we want to hear from you what you think of the four different brands of Japanese pork there. We have one coming from Hokkaido, one from Kyushu, one from Kagoshima, Kyushu. one from Miyazaki. Oh yeah, it's, uh, Kyushu Island. Uh. It's um, uh, Kumamoto. Uh, yeah, yeah. From one Kumamoto. from Kumamoto, one from Miyazaki, one from Hokkaido and one from Kagoshima. Yeah. So, so four different prefectures, four different kinds of pork. And then uh, you're gonna tell us what is the taste, what's the you know how the sweetness and all these things so that uh, yeah. so that everybody know uh, because you're tasting on their behalf. Yeah. Okay. That's so, right. Okay. So, uh, any just, questions? Uh, are you fifteen? Uh, our fifteen uh, <laughs> winner or uh, tasters ready? If you are ready, please raise your hand. And say, hey, I'm ready. Okay. We are just having some. Uh, I'm just trying to log on, and I'm having a bit of difficulty logging on at the moment. Yeah, so yeah, that's yeah. why. Yeah. Just bear with there me. There you go. No, you don't, because if too I many of us. Yeah. <laughs> too many of us. Yeah. No, we don't do it. Okay. All right. So we're live here. Okay, why don't, while I'm then looking then at the people, people yes, can you people, just tell yeah. people more about um, anything else about Japanese pork? I mean, a little bit about the feed, yeah. the, the... Why uh, buy Japanese yeah. pork? Okay, I mean, we all love Japanese Wagyu and, uh, you know, we've been, they've been promoting Wagyu for so long. So, we are all very familiar with Japanese Wagyu now. We know how uh, well the Japanese uh, look after their cows mm. when it comes to Wagyu. And the Japanese, when they raise the pigs, they also put a lot of attention uh, to raising the pig. You know, Japanese are very clean and very mm. neat, right? So, when you when you look at on the video, uh, we are looking, I'm looking forward to visiting <laughs> a Japanese pig farm mm. soon. Hopefully, once mm. the COVID thing is boiled over, we can go and pick, visit a pig farm. But what I've seen on video, right, is that the pig farms are also nice and clean. The sawdust everywhere is dry. The pigs don't, you know, they, don't, they, they look quite uh, comfortable and happy, lah. So, they're, they're very uh, particular about the fat of the pig. Okay. So, they feed the pig, they look after the pig so that the fat has got a nice 
sweet flavour and they are very averse to the porky. Oh yes, that's right. You know how right. pork can sometimes have that yeah, that's very right. porky yeah, flavour. I would say that a lot of the Japanese pork is uh, it doesn't have that porky flavour. It's yeah. it almost fragrant. It's right? very fragrant, yeah. very mm. nice and the, and the fat is uh, very sweet. So yeah. as you know, Wagyu is full of the marbling, right? Mm. So, so when it comes to the Japanese pork, they also breed the pig so that it's not too lean. Ah. So they have a bit of fat. So it's they don't eat a lot. You know, when Shabu Shabu, yes. you have a few slices, but they really like to enjoy that texture and that flavour, that sweetness of the mm. fat. Yeah. Okay, so um, so thank you. Now we are up already. So just want to acknowledge a couple of people that's online. Yep. Uh, I see uh, Peishu. Uh, I see Sharon, Pauline, and I see uh, Grace. Yes, and Celine Paisley, May. All yeah. the ladies are. Where are you guys? Hey, Lo, guys. Lo, Lo, Lo Chong, Chong is here yeah, as well. Okay, okay. Uh, Renith, okay. Tan, thank you so much. I think Renith is going to be. And uh, Shri, uh, Shri Min, Shri Min is also one of our pork tasters okay. and cooks as well. I hope you're all ready. Uh, and of course, Melvin <laughs> yeah. and Michelle, Carol. Um, yeah, quite a lot of you are already online. So thank you so much for joining us here on a Sunday morning so you can learn to make some Hakka Zayo. Okay, okay. so we've got, we've got the nice uh, pork yeah. uh, belly. But before that, yep. can I mm -hmm. announce uh, to everybody, <coughs> so I know that some of you, okay, it's like, okay, I didn't win you know, the, the giveaway yeah. to get the pork to be a, one of the tasters, right? But not to worry, all right? Good news, good news to all of you. Okay, there is a promotion at the moment mm -hmm. uh, that's available to everybody. Okay, so if you go to meatlovers.com.sg anytime in the month of um, March, okay, you can use this uh, promo code. All right, and I believe the promo code is it live sale, um, live sale 20. Uh, sorry, I cannot remember what the promo code is, but you can see in the, in the lower third. All right, the promo code, okay, it says live sale 20. All you need to do is uh, spend at least $120 and then you get $20 off. All right, just put in that promo code and it's available from now to the 31st of March. Okay, so this is good news to everybody. All right, so everybody's a winner, lah, okay? Okay, <laughs> hey, let me get this uh, going uh, because, mm. okay, this dish, right, and we're making Hakka Tsayuk, Hakka Fried Pork. One of the... To me, one of the tastiest pork dishes okay. ever created by All right. human beings. Do you, need me, do you need me here or can I disappear? Ah, you, you got anything else you want to tell us? No, uh, I already told the most important thing. You, you can thing. stick around, you can ask questions on their behalf, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, let me tell you. That's uh, true, that's true. This, this, originally, right, we were supposed to have a class. And then originally, 15 of you were supposed to be in the same room as me. And then we're going to cook together. But that didn't turn out because of Omicron and things like that. So now, uh, I'm going to pretend that <laughs> you are there. I'm here. So I'm sure you have a lot of questions. I'm sure some of you are also getting ready all your pork slices to cook along. Alright, so, okay, but so the, problem is, yeah. the problem is I, mm. I cannot see them. Mm. And uh, so, so you have to feed back to me yeah. uh, if you need... Uh, if you are not ready yet. So I'm going to be very cognizant that there are some of you cooking along. So mm. had to go a bit slow. La. Yes, that's right. All right. Okay. So you got your nice piece of uh, pork belly, right? I'm sure. Okay, right. so first thing we're going to do with the pork belly is I'm going to... Okay, this is supposed to be marinated overnight. All right, for, for best flavour. But, but because this is a, a live cooking show, I'm just going to show you how to marinate and then later we're going to fry it straight away. I think it should work. lah. Uh, it won't be as good as if you marinate it overnight, but it should work. Okay, so I've got my, um, I got my pork, um, uh, basically meat, uh, what do you call this? Um, Piercer. Uh, torturer. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. And this so is, I use this for my uh, seal bar. Yes. But what I'm going to do is, if you don't have this, just use a fork. All right. Ah, and what we're going to okay. do is just going to, it's going to, I'm just going to, um, Murder the meat uh, sort of like, <laughs> Poke holes into the okay, meat. Okay, poke holes into the meat. <laughs> because this will help the, the meat to absorb the uh, marinade quickly, right? Mm. I'm just going to poke some, lots of holes in the meat. This is not to tenderize it, mm. really. It's just to basically help the meat to uh, absorb the marinade quicker. Alright. <coughs> if okay. you don't have this, just use a fork. Mm. Fork should work quite well. Just use a All right. normal so fork. So, for those of you who are cooking along, people like, like Edmund yeah. See? and Angeline. See, pork, yeah? See? Yeah. The, the, the fork works oh. quite well, but because I have this. 
<laughs> I bought this from Hong Kong. Sorry, uh, this one you can't find in Singapore. Oh, okay. But in Hong Kong, they have this in, in this particular form. But in Singapore, you also can find uh, this sort of thing. Very useful. Okay, I'm just going to poke lots of holes into the pot. Oh, okay. And then I'm going to cut it into two so that's easy to just basically cut the pork belly into half. So you got a nice piece like that. Mm. One, two, <coughs> three, and four. Okay. So uh, for this recipe, actually the, the marinade is for one kilogram of meat. But for the purpose of our demo, this is only about 400 grams. Mm. So I'll be using half of the, uh, the okay. marinade. Yeah. I'm going to say this. So uh, <coughs> for those of you online, um, the recipe is already published all right, on the website, on our blog site, uh, under Hakka Zayok. So you can find the recipe there. As what Dr. Leslie said just now, it's uh, good for one kilogram of meat. So uh, for those of you who are cooking along with us, this one is um, basically you would have received like 40, uh, 400 grams of meat. So you just adjust it accordingly lah. Okay, so but I know that some of you <coughs> have already marinated the meat. Okay, some of uh, smart. Yeah, some of them are very smart. good. <laughs> they very already good. marinated yeah, yeah, you the know meat. La, you know. Okay. Yeah. So I think uh, Angeline, I think Angela has uh, marinated, and I think Pei well Pei well Pei Shi has also marinated. Yeah, so well good done. job. <laughs> yeah, because I mean to show people how to make marinade is quite. I mean, it just makes <laughs> everything together, la, right? Yeah. So what you need is this thing called the uh, nam yi, mm. which is a uh, fermented uh, uh, soy, uh, fermented tofu and with red yeast. Yeah. Huh? Good job, so, Connie. Yeah. This is a uh, the the smell of nam yi is unmistakable. I mean, I I was thinking maybe if this is Japanese pork, right? I might use a Japanese equivalent, which is miso. Mm. It's basically miso nam yi. All these uh, are fermented foods, right? And um, once you ferment any protein. And uh, tofu is made of uh, soybean. Soybean is full of protein. If you uh, ferment protein, you break it down to all the umami-rich uh, amino acids. Okay. And that's that's. I, so whenever I think about how to cook, I always thinking about the component that will give um, the food its uh, umami. So so this is a really rich umami ingredient. This is this this stuff. And the thing with nami is it's got that distinctive alcoholic floral sort of fragrance that you you can't really can't get away mm. so so i tried using miso but miso doesn't really have that oh. smell yeah it's, it's so so nami you can't escape from uh, nami. Okay. so so this is shanghai um, um uh, nami mm -hmm. i'm using three cubes i know i know three cubes is very you know can be big cube can be small cube so it's about 40 grams okay i weighed it already yeah. so 40 grams for every one kilogram of pork so i got three Basically, this is actually cut from one big block. So, huh? this is 40 grams, is this it? This is 40 grams. Uh, even though we're marinating only... So, when like... they say one cube, uh, yeah. one cube usually is like this. Mm. Round about. Uh. Okay, so can I just ask a mm. question properly, right? So, this is 40 grams of mm. nami or mm. the red fermented bean, right? Yes, uh, yes. Bean yes, curd. Yes, and then, yep. But this is, you've got 400 no, grams. No, don't worry. So... Just, uh, this, this marinade is for one kilogram. Ah, when okay, you make okay. this dish, just make one kilo. <laughs> I'm serious. I mean, because okay. you think, oh, I can't finish one kilo, but later on, uh, when you get stuck, everybody start to eat, right? Yeah, and that's before, all gone. <laughs> before you actually serve it onto the table, it will be less than one kilogram already. I mean, it's like, like yeah. two thirds of it is gone. Because we all like to so, come round and it was so nice and pick yeah, a bit. Yeah, everybody will pick a bit. So, so it's not, you know, don't waste your time. Uh, just, just go straight for one yeah, kilo. Okay. okay. So, anyway, the nami, I'm just going to mash it all up. All right. Okay? okay. Mash up the nami like this. Okay. okay. Someone's asking where to get a smaller bottle of the nami. All right, so uh, just get the big bottle. <laughs> I mean, it, I mean, okay, it can uh, keep me, for quite long, okay, uh, right? Yeah. Let me let me show you the, okay, okay, the bottles okay. of the meat. Okay, I let have. me just smash this up while you're talking, right? Okay. And a few of you that are already doing it. Yes, Grace is already dusting and marinating the yeah. meat. Okay, which is so, great. So I've got, um, I mean, this is the, this is a big bottle, mm. which you all can see. That's a big bottle. That's a smaller bottle. Mm. Okay, um, don't worry lah, me, don't have to keep the bottle if you worry about the bottle. This, these things uh, last very long, long, yeah, very long right. time. It's fermented, it, it, so it's the fermented. longer is better, right? If you, if you don't want to keep the bottle, you can just take it out of the little plastic bag oh, and then just okay. put it into a smaller bottle. Uh, they also come in uh, small little bottles you can find at the supermarket. Ah, okay, okay. But Nami, I, I find these two particular ones uh, mm. really good. So, All right. Just leave it so inside. I just leave it here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, here, mm. wait, wait, just put it yeah. aside. Okay, mm. so 
So um, you can you can use this for other a lot of other applications as well. Mm -hmm. You can just take a piece out. You can eat it with a porridge. It's very nice too. Mm. Just mm, 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 <laughs> the porridge, you know. It's just it's just beautiful umami flavor. So okay, okay. Oh, it's smelling very good. It smells good, right? Yeah, it smells very nice. Okay, then we have five spice powder. Mm. I have a very nice five spice powder that I buy from Penang, but you can use any five si uh, five spice. But mm. uh, I'm 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 sure you all are gonna ask me if this is a real class. They're gonna ask me, oh, which five spice do you use? <laughs> okay, this is a Penang one, uh, but unfortunately you can't get it in Singapore. I think you get the one that you like, lah. I mean, the you one you the, smell, you go, wow, yeah, this is very nice, and then yeah. you use it, right? Okay, yeah. five spice, mm. very very um, it adds to that flavor, right? Mm. And after that, we got some salt. Okay. Okay, it's just half a teaspoon, right? I think it's, it's yeah. all there. Half a teaspoon okay. of salt. Yeah. And then yep. we've got sugar to balance out the uh, saltiness. It's one tablespoon of sugar. Wow, all some right. people say they already cooked the recipe and ate already. <laughs> <laughs> nice, right? Good, right? Good, right? Yeah, Sage yeah. was saying that. <laughs> yeah, okay. So this is um, then some... Uh, sesame uh, sesame oil. Okay, so uh, so there's a question. Paige is asking, uh, always wanted to know what's the difference between nam yi and the small ones in the supermarket, the red yeast only. What, what do you mean red yeast only? Yeah. Red yeast, a... okay, I mean you can just buy red yeast rice, which yeah. is fermented yes. rice with, mm. with uh, uh, but uh, nam yi is the one with the um, with, with the bean curd. With the bean curd yeah. lah. So get the one with the bean curd. Yeah. Okay. Just so some difference. black soy dark soy sauce. This is actually cooking caramel. Ah. Okay. Yeah. What this what cooking caramel is mm. is uh, basically uh, it's sugar that has been caramelized. Ah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, you know dark soy sauce is basically a mixture of cooking caramel and soy sauce. Uh, so it gives that 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 dark. It gives it a beautiful uh, dark uh, color. We've got some uh, cooking wine. This two tablespoons of cooking wine. Uh, and then okay. and then and then we have the uh, garlic. All right, and then uh, just want to acknowledge that Dan Ho is also one of our taster cooks, and uh, yes. Dan is getting uh, his uh, seventeen year old. <laughs> to do the cooking. Oh, good, good. job, good job. Well done. 17 year old girl or uh, is it a is daughter, it a daughter or, son? or son? Then just let us know. <laughs> Why I ask? Because, uh, you know, I think nowadays if you are a guy and you know how to cook, uh, quite quite a good commodity for all the <laughs> potential mother in laws out there. I think. Actually, a lot of guys uh, are. Uh, nowadays, more, more, cooking, yeah, yeah. more guys, uh, I don't know. Like, I'm sure there's a lot of. I mean, most of yeah. our viewers this morning are. Uh, ladies. Okay, then we crack one egg. The egg, the function of the oh, egg really... Then say it's a boy. It's a guy. Oh, it's a... oh yeah. Good potential uh, son-in-law. <laughs> okay, so we crack one egg and we put the egg in. In the, uh, in the zita, right, mm. they actually put all the flour. The egg is used as a binder, you know. Okay. The egg will help to bind uh, everything together. Mm. And, and when you fry, right, uh, egg, it, it becomes part of the batter, right? Mm. So just Got question, ah? yeah. mm -hmm. Okay, the question is, uh, Celine's asking, can we can we replace the caramel with other options? Because she's scared that it's too sweet and they don't. She doesn't really like caramel. Oh no no no! <laughs> it's cooking caramel. It's actually not very sweet. It's for the color. Ah. This cooking caramel, right? I mean, I I'll show you. Okay, all right. While well, he's there, I can do the story. <laughs> yeah. So it's just a cooking caramel. It's not like real actual sweet caramel that you use in your cakes and desserts. Yeah. Ooh, okay, so, nice. uh, okay, so so you have your typical uh, black soy sauce, which is the thick stuff, right? This one is a bit more salty, and then I got this uh, thing. One more time. Yeah. Uh, this black soy sauce, right? This this very dark soy sauce, all right. And I got cooking caramel. This doesn't actually yeah, say yeah, soy yeah. sauce. It actually says cooking caramel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and this doesn't really have much of a taste. It just tastes a little bit slightly salty. Mm. And uh, and basically you use it for the color. You use a little bit only lah. Basically this color is mm. a bit reddish. Mm. Uh, so so this is useful because I put it into things like um, my steak sauce. Yeah, you know when you're making a sauce. Give a nice color. Uh, mm. And then you say hey, it's not dark enough. It doesn't look very nice. You just put in a uh, one half teaspoon of this stuff. Yeah. And uh, and then and then your the color it just brightens. You know it makes it. <laughs> 
look more delicious, nah. Okay, but soy sauce itself is it's got taste, right? Mm. So you know, it's not sweet. It's not sweet. Um, cooking caramel is not meant to be sweet. Yeah. It's meant to just uh, you, you only use it for the color. So um, just to let you know that the links to some of these ingredients, if you go to our recipe on the website, um, there are links to the actual ingredients in in case you're wondering which exact ones that we are using. So you can you can do that as well. Okay. Okay. So so you see my marinade is already done. And this is for one kilogram, right? I, 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 I do it for one kilogram now because you know some of this stuff is only half a teaspoon. And then if you want to halve it, you can put okay lah, you can do quarter a teaspoon. Then your egg you have to halve it lah, you know. So oh, I okay, this yeah. is marinade with one egg. I think what you can do, you can actually keep this marinade. Uh, put it into a small container, put it in the freezer mm. so that the next time when you want to do this dish, you don't need to uh, do everything again, yeah. right? Okay. You can just keep it in the freezer. Right. So, so, so the marinade is done. Even now, I say, Ayoy! <laughs> smells good already. Wow, that smell is like, really just want to eat it already. Okay. Alright, so are we ready to, to do this? Okay, alright, just mm. a couple of questions if that's okay. Alright, mm. so uh, YF Wu is asking uh, where to buy the cooking caramel. As I mentioned, if you go to our website, the recipe, yes. um, you can click into the links to the ingredients. It will bring you to where you can buy. Yes. I think generally most supermarkets will sell. Uh, is it? Yeah, we are not here to... to, uh, <laughs> to uh, we are not being sponsored by any supermarket. But I will tell you this, la, there, there are some supermarkets that sell a lot of those Malaysian things, you know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> One big, very big market chain. Yeah, they, they sell a lot of uh, local ingredients. Yeah. yeah they are everywhere S and they're always S 24 hours. Yeah, yeah. So okay, yeah. <laughs> okay la, no, you can get it from there. Yeah. Or you can get it online. La. Online on Lazada yeah, yeah. and yeah, on yeah, some yeah. of the others yes, you can yes, get yes, as yes, well. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. So the links, so, we have the links as well. Yes, and yes. I know Connie has already started uh, cooking and dusted the pork belly. Oh, you think so to fast, deep fry already. I'm, I'm going, <laughs> I'm deliberately going slow so that I can show. Okay, okay so, Olivia is asking, why is egg added to the marinade instead of with the flour before frying? Why you put the egg in the marinade instead of, you know, okay, usually... Okay, so original you, recipe yeah. has everything in, with the flour in. Oh, Yeah, even. original, ah. yeah. Then, then in the zita, right, they just take it out, they just throw it into the oh. fire. But, you know, for home cooks, uh, we don't have the kind of uh, big fire and big yeah. oil. and mm. I find that it's easier to control this way. Yeah. So the egg is used as a binder. Yeah. So the egg... The, when you when you use egg in any batter, right? Mm. The egg when you imagine uh, when you put an egg into the oil, it sort of fluffs up. Oh, okay. You know okay, how okay, egg okay. Yes, sort of becomes yes. freely. Yeah. So egg has get kind of pro uh, property. Yeah. So when you put the egg into the batter uh, later on, you see the batter all the you you get the you get those. Uh, you I know, more fluffy I know, I know, kind I know. of yeah. batter yeah. rather than just water. Yeah. Water will right. be very flat. You mm. put an egg in. Uh, this the egg white, the egg yolk, and and stuff will sort of like give it a bit more structure, lah, huh? So mm. so I'm gonna put half of this in here, okay? And I know my hands gonna smell <laughs> later on, but I'm gonna massage because we are short of uh, we are not marinating overnight. Mm. So you know the thing about marinade, right? Mm. You think ah, I just put the thing on, you know, leave it overnight, it will soak. But actually. Marinating meats, uh, if, you, if you bother to just do a bit more of the massage, you see how you massage the thing into the meat. You'll see that all this marinade later on, uh, as I continue to massage like this, right? I'm just using my fingers, uh, yes. which is not supposed to use my... As, uh, especially when you're doing uh, small pieces. Originally, right, this recipe is done by... Acknowledge uh, Auntie Ruby, mm. which is Terry's uh, uh, yeah, uh, Cannon Terry, Food Cannon Food Cannon Food Cannon, my friend the Food Cannon, mm. uh, his mum lah. The original recipe and in fact uh, Hakat Sayok is not supposed to be done uh, in a slab like this. Oh, it's supposed okay. to be cut into small pieces. Oh, really. so that means you cut the small pieces, then you marinate, is it? That's yes. the original recipe. Yes, yes, original. Ah, so okay. I modified it a bit. Why? Because. Uh, I think that uh, by doing this way, mm. I can later on I can cut it and it, it, it the even better the presentation <laughs> is nicer lah, yes. you know uh, yeah. rather than if you fry everything it is a little bit messier mm. and then and then this way I can just fry the the pork in one piece mm. so I modified it a little bit see you can see as I marinate as I just massage ah, right you see okay. all the marinade is already. Yeah. Absorb. You see, the, the meat actually absorbs. Oh, okay. You see, just now there was a lot of marinade around, right? So yes. even as I just do this, yeah, very fast, huh? a, yeah. a bit of this, right? And if you want, of course, if you want, you can put in a bit more, lah, you know? Okay. 
You can put in a bit more, get okay, more flavor. So if you had a, hun a one kilo of uh, meat, then that would have just been just nice. Yeah, yeah it's just okay, nice for one kilo. Right, okay. This one you can keep for the mm, next round. Next round. Yeah, mm. See, as I, as I ma massage the meat, the meat absorbs the marinade, right? Mm. So hope, I'm hoping that maybe today I got a new discovery. Don't need to marinate overnight. Ah. I can just do it on the spot. I will, will taste later. Yeah, we'll I've taste, never done. Yeah. I've never done it before because I've always <laughs> marinated uh, overnight. Marinate overnight because that's how. That's you always assume, right? That yeah lah, marinate overnight will be better than mm. marinate on the spot lah, right? So I got, okay. So I got all my meat <coughs> nicely mm. marinated. Okay, so we'll just leave it for another few minutes while we taste. Yeah. The pork. Well, more than a few minutes, I think, yeah. So, okay. Wow, so, smell. It's so nice. Okay. I go. <laughs> Can't wait. Can't wait. Okay, so I think uh, while Dr. Leslie is trying to get this place ready to do our pop tasting, which is the next uh, <coughs> segment of our life, um, this might be a good time for us to do the first round of giveaway. Yes? All right. Can we, are we all ready for that? Can I get some, uh, some lights and love from all of you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We are, we are very, uh, you know, yeah. we are very needful of the likes. Uh, you know why? Because if you're in a, if you're in a, in front of a live audience, right, you get a lot of like response from the, uh, you know, and then we ask questions, people smile, you know, there's interaction going on. It's uh, so important. Uh. Yeah, and you can bring them on camera. No? Maybe and next time we can bring them on camera. What I do you mean, mean bring I them on camera? You see, the Facebook does have this uh, option. Is so it? Maybe next time we can do that. Bring them on camera. <laughs> yeah. how, how do they bring them on camera? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Are you, anyway. Uh, bring them on camera. Yes. Yeah. But maybe not, they can. Please, not now. Not no, now. No. <laughs> yeah, I don't oh, know. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the, the love. <laughs> okay. Look, I'm going to get this ready. Okay. All right. So, the giveaway that we're going to be giving. All right. Basically, it's a... Um, can we put up the, the information first so that we, we get the information? Okay. So, it's basically a 25% discount voucher without any minimum spend all right i believe this one is on um yakiniku <coughs> plaza is it yes yakiniku plaza all right and you've got the website uh link there okay so this is basically uh, a 25 percent discount voucher without <coughs> any minimum spend that for we've got two of this 25 percent discount voucher to give away all right so um are you all ready with the question hope you're all ready <laughs> Okay, I hope you all have been paying attention to the very beginning of the, uh, of the live. And also, we mentioned this a couple of times in some of our video yeah, 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 as yeah, well. Yeah. You know, there are many, many <laughs> brands of pork in Japan. Yes, I haven't even asked the question. Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I've got to... Okay, you're going to ask the question? For those who are kind of come a bit late, I think we better talk a little bit about it before we actually ask the question. <laughs> oh. I mean, for, no lah. I'm just about to ask the question Or should we just already? reward those that have actually come in I on time? I think we reward the people who come in on time okay, lah. Let me la, ask the question you, already. Yeah, <laughs> who do you prefer as your teacher in class, right? If you're a real class. This one very strict. I'm more, more lenient. I give away. I yeah, give away yeah, yeah. Okay. Later, now later. Might, okay, okay y'all pay attention. Huh? Okay. <laughs> All right, okay, the question is very, very simple, all right? How many pop brands or how many Japanese pop brands do you think there are, okay? Yeah. Out there, okay? okay. We don't need an exact number, you know? Just, I mean, we're looking so like over... More than... More than how, how many, many pop brands, pop brands uh, are there? Okay. We mentioned the it at the beginning, but, you know, if you're smart enough, you can go on to... Uh, certain Google sites uh, that uh, that can you can get this number easily. Okay. Uh, all right. I'm gonna get all the right, pork ready. So how many over how many pork brands are there in the in Japan? All right. And I think a number a number of them are now available here in Singapore as well. Um, so over how many pork brands are there out there? Okay. <coughs> Just a number. All right. Okay. How many over how many pork brands are there out there? Okay. Hello, hi Mickey. <laughs> hi Mickey Sam. Hello. Thanks to all of you who have joined. Okay. We are looking for two winners. All right. Okay. Mm. So. All right. So Jeffrey Tio is asking, uh, where's the recipe? Uh, the recipe link I will need to put it into the comments somewhere here. Uh, let me let me look for it and I'll send it to you. Okay. Basically it's on our website, all right? Mm. Let me let me uh, give it to you. 
All right. How many pork brands are there uh, out there? Okay, I'm going to put it into the comment. Here is the recipe link. Alright, so the recipe link, I have uh, pinned it already, so uh, hopefully you'll be able to get to the recipe. Okay, Jeffrey, that's the link to the recipe, okay, online. Okay. Okay. You asked the question already. Are we picking the, the winners now? Yes, we're or? picking the winners soon, so that I can... Uh... Okay, I just w wanted to show you all the packaging uh, before I open it up, so that you know when you actually order it from the website listed below uh, there is a website that we are providing you where you can uh, actually get the, the information uh, about Japanese pork and where to order it right so so there are a few online uh, places that you can order this pork so this is the packaging for the uh, this is the Hokkaido mm. Hokkaido pork mm. it's got a name it's got it's got a name. They call it Yume no Daichi. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. for those of you, uh, the 15 of you, uh, just get ready your Shabu Shabu right now. Yep. Okay, um, and I think we're going to be tasting the pork loin first. Uh, before yep. the so get ready the pot line of all your four different brands mm -hmm. uh, and remember that um, we're going to be requiring you to help us to fill up a questionnaire at the end of the live uh, and the, all you need to do is to you should have received this uh, recipe card all right and all you need to do is to scan the qr code here and you after scanning the qr code you get to the questionnaire um, and then so we'll ask you to put in your rating for the uh, for the different pork brands, okay? okay. So right now so, we're going to be doing the pork loin first. So we've got yeah. this one, which which I think uh, of the four packs, this is the easiest to recognize because the tray is big, <laughs> okay? okay? And this is um, this is basically your uh, Hokkaido mm. Hokkaido uh, pork, which is the Yume no Daichi. Now okay. pay attention, this is important. Now. Uh, what makes this pork uh, impo uh, interesting is that the pig that they are using is a cross of four different uh, breeds. Mm. A cross of four different breeds. So they got Yorkshire and Landris and uh, Duroc and Berkshire. So these people uh, up in uh, Hokkaido, um, they have uh, tried different different cross crosses to get the best texture, best flavor, juiciness, and things like that. Mm. So, so the Hokkaido pork, the Yume no Daichi. Yume means dream. Mm. Uh, Daichi means the, of the big land. Uh. Daichi Tati. Ah, da, Daichi okay. is Tati. So the dream of the land. Ah, okay. Alright, this pork uh, brand. But this Hokkaido pork. Uh, yeah. you, I think you're, you're, you're seeing this a lot in the supermarkets yes. now. And in a lot of restaurants, mm. they're all promoting this Hokkaido pork. Okay. Because but of the... I think because um, Hokkaido snow beef is so popular now so so they are really promoting this Hokkaido brand yeah this Hokkaido pork yeah okay I'm getting a bit nervous because I, I don't want you to start yet because I got some things to do first <laughs> oh really yes yes oh. I need to announce the winner first and oh. then later on uh, then then we need to make sure that everybody's ready before we start tasting is that okay yeah yeah but I'm just telling them about yeah. the pork la. okay alright okay. then you, you tell them that then I'll tell them about the next one uh, no 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 just I'm ready to announce the, the two winners alright Okay, so drum roll. Okay, the two winners of the 25 uh, discount voucher at Yakuniku Plaza. All right, is. Okay, so look excited for them. La. <laughs> <laughs> I got too many things to think about. YF Wu. Yeah. All right, congratulations, YF Wu. Okay. And then the second winner is Ming Zhu Luke. All right, Ming Zhu Luke. Thank you so much for participating, well everybody. But these well are done. our two winners of what the 25. What did they win? They win basically a 25% discount voucher with no minimum spend yes. at Yakiniku Plaza. And the website is there uh, on the lower... Okay, oh, Yakiniku here. Plaza. That's, yeah, that's, that's, right. uh, that's one of the online stores, is it? Yes, oh, that's right. Okay. The one of the All online right. stores, okay. Yakiniku yeah. Plaza has been one of our sponsors. So thank yep. you very much. Okay. Yes, All right. that's right. Okay, okay. and before that, uh, just make sure that those of you, taste, 15 of you who are tasting the pork, and hopefully you got your shabu shabu ready right now. Okay, to now start shabu tasting. shabu is ready. Yeah. Okay, because the questionnaire is going to be after, so I'd like you all to take note of your rating from 1 to 5, all right? 5 being the best, all right? Uh, in terms of texture, juiciness, and yes. also taste yes. of the different pork, all right? Write the rating yeah. down first because later you might forget, right? Then later when you go online, you can uh, remember and put in the right number there. Yeah, 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 okay? Yeah, yeah. 
All right. <clears throat> okay, so so I've got four different uh, brands here. I've got this is this is uh, the Canon Canon Can Canon Ike Canon Ike. I mm. I I reckon I I to me uh, it just reads like Canon and Nike, and it's from <laughs> Miyazaki. All right, it's a pop brand from Miyazaki called Canon Ike. All right. Okay. Right. So I think there's some information we we're gonna display the information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, let's do one by one. No, I'm just telling you because uh, this one, mm. uh, the packaging is very similar to the Kurubuta. So I need to make sure that I know which is which. Okay. We're we're gonna start. Can we do the Kumamoto one first? Is that okay? Wait, wait. I'm just. Uh, I'm, I'm. Oh, you're just I'm, introducing. Yeah, I'm first. introducing the four different regions that the pop ah, are coming okay. from. So so Canon EK. Uh, I think I have to leave the the the, the thing on. Canon EK is from where? Canon Ike is from Miyazaki. Ah, from Miyazaki. Okay, so this right. pork, later I'll tell you about the pork when I when I do. And then we got the Hinomoto mm -hmm. from, uh, this is from, uh, Hinomoto is from Kumamoto. Ah, okay. Alright, Kumamoto, uh, Hinomoto means fire pork. Ooh, fire. <laughs> I don't know, man. When you eat it, maybe you get on fire. I, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, and then this is the, of course, the Kurubuta. Mm. Uh, from uh, Kagoshima. So, so when I say kurubuta, I mean that the the pig is a different breed. Mm. Kurubuta is a, it's I think you are already quite familiar with kurubuta. Yeah. Kuro means black, buta means pig, so ah, it's black pig. Okay. So this pig is black. The rest are actually white. Ah, Even the cross breed. Okay. Remember the uh, Hokkaido pork is a four cross, right? Yes. But the the, the pig actually looks uh, uh, white. It's not black. This mm. is the black pig. Okay. So this is the black pig. I'm going to leave the label on so that we know it's the black pig. Okay, we got the, okay so we got the four different pork brands and mm. we are going to taste it and we're going to uh, re, uh, we're going to take note of the um, the sweetness, the flavor, the tenderness, the juiciness uh, the texture, of the meat. Yeah. Okay. So one thing when you buy from Japanese, right? Uh, from Japanese uh, pork producers, I mean uh, Japanese butchers. They know how to uh, process it nicely, mm. right? So this is beautiful yeah, for your shabu shabu. Wow, look at that. Wonderful. Yeah, so it's nice. Mm. And this is a pork loin. Mm. So basically in Singapore, if you try to buy local pork, yep. okay, you only get this part, which you can call the bat tao. Uh, uh, they, in, in, in the, the local Indonesian uh, pork, right, mm. you never get a cut like this. Oh. Because this bit, they leave on, to, on the rib. And then for, it's great for bakute. Oh, okay, okay. You know, when you eat prime yes. rib, right, yes. for bakute, they will, the, the, bone is, the bone is here. Mm. So they will, cut, they will cut this part and leave it on the bone. I see. So they have it. Because no this, wonder, this bit is No wonder nice our, no, normally when we have pork loin, uh, usually, right, it's only this bit. We'll never yes. see the this Chinese, part. The yeah. Chinese, the Chinese yeah. they separate this part from this part. Mm. Because we always feel that this part is a little bit drier. Yes. It's like chicken breast. <laughs> this part is like, you know, the, the juicy thigh meat. <laughs> thigh meat. All right. So, so when they cut it, mm. the, they, yeah, this part yes. is to the, the ribs. Okay? Yeah. But when the Japanese, on the other hand, when they cut their, their pork, mm. um, they like to leave that bit because this um, loin is also used for tonkatsu. Mm. So, so for tonkatsu, that piece of fat on top is very important. This piece of meat here is also very important. Of course, the rest is important. Uh, it's nice as well. Mm. We get a nice contrast of both. All right. Okay, so Leonard, uh, are you ready with your boiling water now? Just now you were saying you okay. need a minute. So hopefully you're yeah. ready. Can we so give I'm just you gonna, a thumbs up from you, Leonard? <laughs> I'm just going to throw in some uh, dashi powder. Oh, okay. You're preparing the, yeah, uh, I'm the just, broth. Basically, uh, this is just water. I put in a bit of uh, dashi. Okay, well, Lena is saying that the Hokkaido one is looking the prettiest despite, despite being a uh, loin. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I totally agree. This is so pretty. Yeah. Okay. So, some dashi powder. Some okay. dashi powder. Okay. I'm just throwing in some dashi powder. Okay, great. Thank you, Lena, for saying that you're ready. Okay, actually, you can just leave it as dashi, or if you want it to be a more sukiyaki, you can put in a bit yeah, of soy. Michelle as well, bottom boiling yeah, too. Okay, yeah. that's just good. some soy sauce, just some dashi powder. Okay, mm. you don't need it to be too, you just want it a little bit, you just give it a little bit of flavor. I don't know, I put in, uh, I gave you a recipe for it. 
Yeah, I think we were saying like one uh, tablespoon. Yeah, actually of, one tablespoon may not be enough. Half a tablespoon, and then just a dash of uh, soy sauce. Yeah. This this is already tasting very nicely. I mean, you adjust it, lah, huh? Yeah. It's just basically hondashi powder and a bit of soy sauce. Get a nice flavor. Mm. Put it on a nice simmer. The meat is very thin, um, and you really don't need it to be so hot to cook it. Oh, okay. It doesn't need to be hot, it boiling, boiling hot. Like anything it? above 70, the pork will be well done. Ah, I see. Okay. Okay, right. so it doesn't need to be boiling So it needs to be hot. like simmering. Even, uh, even when simmering is already about 80 plus. Ah, okay. Alright, you don't yeah. even need to be simmering. You just need <laughs> it to be hot enough, right? Yeah. Um, kind of like boil already. Yeah, then sort of like little down, bubble. Bring yeah, down. Bring the, down. The, just keep it nice and uh, yeah. warm. So it's steaming uh, a little bit. Anything above 70, yeah. your pork will cook. Mm. Okay, so... Okay, which one are we gonna try first? Okay, we're gonna do the. We're gonna uh, go from north to south or south to north? <laughs> no, we got a sequence. We got a sequence? <laughs> Kumamoto first. Kumamoto! Yeah. Kumamoto, uh, what's the Kumamoto. brand for Kumamoto? Kumamoto is the Hinomoto. Ah. Yeah, they're, they're both motos. Moto means okay. type. Okay. I think we let's uh, put Kumamoto. on the information. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. Kumamoto uh, pork. Okay, so uh, I will cook. So, so this is the Kumamoto pork loin. Mm hmm. Okay, I shall put one piece oh. and two okay. pieces. Alright, you, you should bring it out, show the camera nicely. La. Yeah, it's la, so fast la. to put mm. in. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Shabu, shabu. So, shabu, like shabu, shabu, shabu. See, it doesn't, yeah. need, it doesn't need a lot of, yeah? Okay. It doesn't need a lot, alright? Okay, so you, I got this for you. You need to give me chopstick. La. Yeah, yeah, Your yeah. Chopstick, put that side. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so here you go. Alright. Okay, so this is the... Kuma Moto. You can mm. have it neat or you can just I we I always like a little bit of goma with my pork. Having I it think, neat, yeah. Uh, I'm I gonna think, I'm gonna have it neat. Yeah. Then that will be the purest form of uh, tasting the different pork brands. Yeah. And then because you already have your dashi in the yeah. in yeah, the Yeah, it's just a little bit of salt. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, in so fact if you want you can just put a little bit of salt mm. at the side and you can uh, let me get some yeah, just get a bit So of, this is the Hito, what's, what's the brand name again? Uh, Hinomoto. 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 Hinomoto yeah. is the brand. And yeah, this just is put the... a bit of salt at the side for you. If okay, you want, thanks. you can just dip a bit of salt. Yeah. Uh, so Hinomoto is the brand. And this is the pork belly from Kumamoto. Okay, Kumamoto, you can see the little uh, map at the side there, right? Um, is in the southern part. Lah. Okay, okay. Yeah. here we go. Okay. There you go. All right. Mm. Mm. Nice. Mm. Yeah. Just plain like that, huh? Wow, plain is so good, man. <laughs> Don't even need the salt. Yeah, the I, I, I is didn't even put the enough. salt, yeah. Mm. 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 I, I like the fragrance. Yes, the fat is <laughs> it melts. The, the fat is good, mm. yeah. Mm. I mean, at first you see the fat, you go a bit worried, but then actually, no, it's very important, no? The mm. fat really adds to the sweetness, yeah, yep, I think. Yep, 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 mm. yep. Just eat in moderation. <laughs> I know, I know what you are thinking. Okay, okay. Eat in moderation, uh, Just a, a few slices. Okay. Enjoy it. Yeah, that's fine. And then eat yeah. lots of vegetables. After that, to balance everything out, you, know? <laughs> you have, should have some cabbage and everything inside there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So how is everybody? Uh, hopefully, all your all the fifteen tasters have uh, tasted the Kumamoto pork belly already. <clears throat> okay. So this is Hino. Mm -hmm. No. What do you mean? Kumamoto pork No, this is pork loin. Oh, sorry. This is a pork, pork loin. Sorry. Pork loin. Pork Have you all tasted loin. your pork loin? Please write down all your comments. Remember, uh, you are doing a job, okay? <laughs> Nothing's for free. There's no free lunch. You, you have a job. You're supposed to write down what you think of the pork, yeah, the la. texture. It's an enjoyable job. La. It's an enjoyable mm. job. Okay. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay so this is, um, I would say this is very nice. Mm. That's one. I'll put it out here. Can I leave it out there? Yeah, you yeah. just put it there first. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, uh, Guess what we're having for lunch later. <laughs> we have a lot of things for lunch. Okay. Okay, it's so good. Okay, Emma Lau says it's so good. Okay, okay. Uh, Renith is saying it's very tender. Okay, and then Chelsea say the fat just melts. It's amazing. Ooh, okay. Yeah. And I mean, the, the main thing is it doesn't have the porky <laughs> stench, you know? Some pork really have that porkiness yeah, that you that's really... Right. 
not very nice. And then Leonard say he can do this all day. Okay. <laughs> well next done. Next time we need okay, test Leonard. tasters. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Are we ready for the next brand? What is the next brand? Okay. The next one. Let's go for the Kagoshima uh, brand from Kagoshima. Okay. Kagoshima. Okay. Uh, Kurubuta. Mm, okay. Kurubuta. So so Kurubuta right? Kurubuta has, is has been in market for like. Uh, no, 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 everyone but, else, right? No, no, but Kurubuta, Kurubuta is a very popular. But mm. last time we used to have a lot of Kurubuta coming from America, from oh, Australia, you know, I other see, places see. they sell Kurubuta. But now you can actually get hold of uh, Japanese Kurubuta. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, okay. so uh, this one is not so. Wait, not so pretty. Not so Anand, pretty. Let me yeah. try to get one pretty one for you. <laughs> yeah. So. Kurubuta is always priced because the black pig is a different. Yes, yeah, so you can see that's oh, kurubuta. Nice. So you can see, you can see the marbling. Oh wow! Right. What well, the marbling, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see the marbling. <laughs> is, Usually you talk about marbling on on beef, yeah, right? Yeah, but yeah, this yeah, one yeah, is yeah. amazing. You see, so wow. the marbling on the, on the on the okay. meat. So so kurubuta is more expensive. Than normal ah, pork because okay. because they take longer to to grow. To grow, okay. Yes. So so they're not they're not the normal. You know when you say pork, most of the time you are talking about the white pig, lah. Yes. All the Indonesian pork that we get in Singapore, yeah. the pig is white in color, but uh, kurubuta is actually black, lah. Mm. Huh? And then the other thing about pork is you don't really need to overcook it nowadays. Mm. You can serve it just slightly pink, mm. and it's still okay. Yeah. So, but when you're when it's so thin, it's very difficult to just just slightly pink. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to be too bothered about you know making it too well done. Okay. okay so this is a kurubuta. Kurubuta from Kagoshima. Yeah. All right. Okay. So hopefully all the pork tasters have got this. Uh, put this shabu shabu this already. Okay. Wow. This one is. This one is amazing, like they got marbling inside. Yeah. No, no, no. I mean, usually, so I, the other pot yeah. also marbling. But marbling. you know, but when it comes to kurubuta, the marbling is more pronounced. Yeah, more pronounced, definitely. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna give this a go. Mm. Wow. Hmm. Also very good. Oh my goodness. This one, uh, to me, right, the flavor is a little bit stronger, right? Mm. Um, the, whereas the other pork is not much of the flavour. This one, I wouldn't say porky, mm. almost a stronger yeah. pork flavour. Not an off flavour, but mm. a stronger pork yeah. flavour. Yeah. Very good. Mm. But I it's like it. It's very good. Stronger it's very flavor. rich. It's very rich flavour, I would mm. say. Yeah. Mm. And a bit more uh, substantial. Uh. Yeah. It's like, when you bite into it, it's like... Mm. Mm. Okay. Okay, so, so Hui Ying said that it's very good. Yes, thank you so much. Yeah. Any other comments from anyone? Oh, <laughs> Ishvan Bala is asking, how can we join you as tasters and testers? Uh, well, that was the last time there was, you must pay attention to our post. La, okay? okay, our 15 tasters. In fact, there were some of you uh, also, thank you very much that you also participated. But unfortunately, we can only choose 15 of you. Mm. Uh, so you pay attention to our post. Every now and then, we will have yeah, interesting yeah, yeah, things yeah, yeah. like That's this. That's why you must always yeah. read, I eat, I show, I post. <laughs> And, uh, and uh, you never know when we're going to announce the next uh, giveaway. Yeah, so mm. Michelle agree with me that it is very rich. Yeah, it's mm. very rich, right? Richer the than the Hinomoto. Yes. Yeah. yeah, that's mm. right. Mm. Mm. Okay, next. Okay. okay, next let's try, let's go, uh, still the south, southern part of Japan, Miyazaki. Alright, let's try the brand from Miyazaki, which is yes, the, the Canon, Canon Nike. <laughs> Canon Nike. No, it's Canon Nike. Uh, Canon Ike. Canon Ike. Canon Ike. Ike, mm. Ike. Ike. Ike is a... Uh, Pawn. Oh. It's a place lah. It's the name of a place. A okay. Canon Ike. Canon mm. Ike. Actually, All the right. Canon Ike, the the, the 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 pork also looks very nice, right? Huh? Yeah. Also got a bit of oh, marbling. Very pink, huh? A little, a bit very of marbling. About a bit of yeah. marbling you can see on the on the meat also, right? Mm. Okay, so I got this one. Oh, so Grace is saying one. that she actually prefers the the kurubuta over the one from uh, Kumamoto. Wow, of yeah. course <laughs> la, Grace, your taste bud very good la. The yeah, more expensive la, kurubuta. <laughs> kurubuta okay, is so this is yeah. this is the Kano uh, Kano Ike Kano Ike. Okay, so the the thing with the Kano Kano Ike Kano Kano Ike Kano Ike. Is that the the pigs are raised uh, eating uh, charcoal, bamboo charcoal. Bamboo charcoal. Yes, because they believe that that's the way to um, get rid of the pocky oh, 
uh, older. I see. Okay. Yeah, so they they eat they eat this uh, mm. charcoal. Yeah. And then also uh, probiotics. Oh. Yeah. Probiotics as mm. well. Probiotics mm. and then and then that sort of uh, oh I must mention uh, the kurubuta right they eat sweet potatoes right I told you already right. Yeah. So so sweet potato then this one, they eat uh, charcoal so. Okay. You know how you use charcoal for diarrhea and all this because it purges, <laughs> absorb, yeah, purges, it purges all, the older, all the bad bacteria yeah. and all these things. Okay. So it's the bacteria that gives a uh, pop its um oh wow off flavor. Look at that. So this Look one should that. be, we should have a nice. Hmm. Wow. Hey, smell is very smell different already. This one has a hmm almost floral smell. Mm. Right. Very nice. Hmm. The smell is different. Mm. The kurubuta, mm. the smell was strong. Mm. This one, the smell is very, very uh, floral. Yeah. Very. Hmm? It's floral. I think the yeah. the charcoal bamboo, the, <laughs> the charcoal bamboo really mm. Mm, makes a difference, right? Yeah. Hmm. Charcoal bamboo. Hmm. I guess you know. <coughs> so far, we've not been using the goma dip, right? I yeah. mean, I would say that uh, because when you have. Such good quality pork, you really yeah. <laughs> don't even need the dip. No, you just yeah. eat it uh, uh, neat. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so Leonard is saying that it's kind of sweet tasting as well. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah, it's right. Sweet. Yeah. yeah, I agree. Leonard. Sweet tasting. Yeah, it's good. Mm. It's, it's sweet. Mm. It's, it's very uh, tender. It's sweet. Yeah. Mm. And it's got a nice fragrance. Uh. Mm. Yeah. That's right. So, the, I mean, the, the way the Japanese... Okay, so there are 400 brands... And over every, 400 over, brand. over 400 brands, yeah. and, and every brand, every farmer mm. have got their own ideas about how to yeah. improve, how to tweak their pork. So, so, so this is great because uh, as you get more and more brands coming to Singapore, mm. all you need to do uh, really is to try them out yeah. and see which one you like. So, so pork is no longer just a commodity meat, you know, it's not mm. like this is just pork, yeah. this is pork. No, you have, you want pork from Hokkaido, you want pork from... Uh, Kyushu, you want pork from Miyazaki, yeah. and uh, different ways of raising it, mm. uh, slightly different kind of mm. flavor profile. Yeah. So you get to choose, now. Can mm. we can we give some? Um, I just want to acknowledge some of the comments back from the tasters. Okay, yeah. so Puying says that the uh, kano ike is really very different. Mm -hmm. All right, and um, oh, Leonard is already making some <laughs> some sure. some comments, and then uh, Olivia is saying that she's surprised that the fats don't actually taste very bad. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't taste, yeah. it doesn't, it's not greasy, it's not yeah, heavy, right? right? Yeah. And Patia says it's not pocky at all, and mm. they, she should have gotten this during CNY. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. I mean, yeah. if you have tasted pork that is pocky, right, it really is, is quite mm. off-putting uh, when yeah. you have that very strong... Doesn't feel very oily. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the Japanese pork, really, the, the, the fragrance so, mm. Far. Mm. so far. And then Michelle is saying that she thinks it'll be more suited for heavier soup so that the flavours do not clash. <laughs> mm. Heavier soup? You mean the not-so-heavy heavy soup so they can mm. really taste the flavour, right? Yeah. 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 And Connie yeah. says that it's as sweet as the Kano Ike. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. <coughs> the low says... <laughs> Yeah, it's a nice balance. Okay. Okay. So yeah. I'm just gonna get rid of all this. All this thing. Okay. Yeah. So, um, so the final brand that we're gonna be looking, gonna be tasting. I think we have to go a bit faster, huh, dear? Yeah. Because uh, it's supposed to be a one hour thing, right? Uh, uh we'll we are go approaching a bit one and a half hours. Yeah. Well, I don't yeah. think one and a half hour would be enough time for me to finish cooking no, the pork. Yeah. Should yeah, be yeah, fine. Yeah. 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 Okay. We have to go a bit okay. faster. All right, so uh, <laughs> Shunmei says she's already com she's converted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. Now we have the Hokkaido. Yes. This is the Hokkaido. Yes. Uh, the Yumi no, no daichi. daichi. Okay. Yumi no Daichi. Yes. Yumi no Daichi. We're tasting really? the pork loin. Yes, and this is a crossbreed yeah. of four. You're going to bring it up a little bit to let the camera Cross, see. ayo, in ready lah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there. See? Okay. It's cross of four different breeds. Right, Landrace, Yorkshire, Duroc, Berkshire, mm. just to get the... And what else can I tell you about this uh, Hokkaido? The way that they grow this Hokkaido pork, according to the website, uh, according to the info that I have, is that they, they practice a sort of like old school farming. Oh, okay. Where the, the manure, the pork, mm. goes in, uh, they, they compost it and then feed it to the vegetables and then use it as fertilizer for vegetables. Oh. 
Then they use the vegetables to feed the pigs. I see. So it goes in a like nice a cycle. Cy yeah, it's right. a nice okay, cycle. Like, like how they used to do it, lah. Like. Eco cycle. It's not. It's not the like the commercial mm. farms, yes, you know, yeah. where they just buy the feed, you know. They, yeah. So so um so you were saying that this is actually uh, this Hokkaido uh, pork is actually developed using four different breeds of pig. Is that mm. right? Mm. Okay. Wow. Wow. Hmm. This is very good. You try and try it first. Mm. Did you accidentally get all the salt dissolved? Because my salt is at the side. Mm. Is it too salty? Mm. It's a bit salty. But yeah, because you got all the salt. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So actually, the, I looked at their, uh, their, their website. Mm. Uh, the way they raise the pork. Uh, they raise it with a higher uh, level of uh, oleic acid. Mm. Oleic acid is important because oleic acid is what you find mm. in olive oil. Mm. And that's the uh, acid that actually lowers cholesterol. <laughs> so, so according to them, their pork has been tested to have a higher level of oleic acid, mm -hmm. which means it's uh, better for you. Lah. Oh. I wouldn't say it's cholesterol lowering because Sorry, it's still saturated. Sorry, you're talking saturated. about the Hokkaido one or yeah, the Hokkaido, general? Hokkaido, Hokkaido, ah, Hokkaido. I see. Yeah, yeah, according to their website. Mm. So it's a higher uh, oleic acid. That means the fats, uh, mm. the fats sort of uh, will melt, you see, at a lower temperature. Ah. So it's uh, less insaturated, more, in, you know, more sort oh. of like uh, healthier for you. Okay, you know how You know, fat that is uh, melting at room temperature mm. is better yeah. for you than... Mm. Uh, that is very hard. Hmm? Okay, yeah. So let's hear some comments. Okay, Connie says, Wow, the Hokkaido pork is the best of all. It's very juicy. Connie you seems left to the like best it. for last, right? <laughs> Did you? Did you do it intentionally? Well, well, Angelia says that she can taste the, the slightly porky taste of this particular one compared to the other. Oh, is it? Three. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay, okay. All right. Okay, wow. And uh, Ishban is asking, Do you recommend to use wasabi and soy sauce? while enjoying shabu shabu <laughs> Wait, uh, again that means do you use it like you know wasabi and uh, soy sauce like when you do shabu shabu the, instead of doing goma wasabi a bit too strong for pork i think yeah <laughs> uh soy sauce yeah i i usually like goma mm. uh or some ponzu uh it's just something light la. I'm, I'm just gonna try it again uh, dear, with the goma and see whether yeah. Sorry, do you want one too? No, 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 hurry up lah. Yeah, la, la, <laughs> you, no. you want to go faster, then you are taking extra pieces. Because <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> Puying says that Hokkaido is mm. the best. Oh, okay. I think she's right, right. now. Okay. She's right about the Hokkaido. Mm. Uh, Hokkaido, the flavour is a mm. bit stronger. But, you know, of the flavours, I think the Kurubuta mm. was uh, one of the strongest. Okay, let's move mm. on. We still got mm. pork belly. Wow, pork belly. Yeah. <laughs> Then I still got to cook the pakat Yes, sayur. yes, yes. Yeah. Mm. So this is the fire pork. Okay, fire. You can see that fire. Ah, okay. Fire. So let's do the. Okay, let's go back Mina, to. Mina, we are we are supposed to start with fire, is it? Yes. Okay, this is the fire. Okay. Then uh, after that is kurubuta, right? Mhm. Mm okay, we gotta go faster. This is fire. This is kurubuta. This is a canon. Canon Ike. Mm -hmm. Canon Ike. Okay, and then of course the Hokkaido. Okay, so now we're going to be doing the... Alright. So hopefully you are enjoying our live uh, at the moment on this Sunday afternoon. Um, it's, yeah, raining it's raining on our side of Singapore. Yes. Not sure whether it's raining on your on your end, but we're definitely, since it's raining, we're very glad that we're indoors enjoying yes. Japanese <clears throat> pork. Yes, yes. And there's so many, so many uh, Omicron cases going around. <laughs> it's better to stay at home. Uh. So so go yeah. and buy some. Go and oh. go online, buy some pork at home and just enjoy Shabu yeah. Shabu. Olivia safe. says she cannot decide whether the between the Kurubuta and the Hokkaido one, she's not sure. Oh. <laughs> Between the kuru, oh, is it? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. That yeah. means she likes uh, pork like, with a bit yeah. stronger, stronger flavor. flavors. Stronger flavors, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, let's go to the Kumamoto one first. The Hinomoto. Hinomoto, Hinomoto is this one. Yeah, Hinomoto, yes. Hinomoto is this one. Okay, show okay. the camera first. This yeah. is a Hinomoto. Hmm. Alright. Hinomoto from, Ka, from Kumamoto. 
Yeah, which yes. is the southern part of uh, okay. Japan. Jimo Moto from Kuma Moto. Okay. Uh, a bit Kuma hard Moto to... Kuma yes. Moto being the brand name. And then... Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, just remember that you can buy all this from uh, meatlovers.com.sg. Uh, there is a $20 off... Uh, no, this Hino Moto is not. Oh? It's from Nikuichi. Oh, for Nikuichi. Yeah, oh, there, are, there are four different and uh, a few different ah, suppliers. Okay. So, so different suppliers actually bring Do in different ones. Uh, oh, different brands. Okay, yeah. Right. So, okay. so this is the Hino Moto, which is the pop brand that I'm using for the uh, Hakka Sayok also. Ah, okay. Yeah, okay. that's right. So, so it's very fast, right? Uh, is it? Yeah. Oh, in out. <laughs> okay, in is, out. Yeah. Because these are, I mean, it's quite a bit of fat there. Um, yes. So. Okay, so it's, it's definitely something that you uh, enjoy in uh, moderate amounts. La. You cannot have overeat too much of this fat. Mm. Are you ready? Will you eat first? Mmm. Mmm. Mm. The difference between belly and uh, loin. Mm -hmm. Belly, the texture is just bouncy. It's so nice and it's bouncy, it's juicy. You haven't tried yet? Mm. Yeah, you eat first. Since, yeah. since you haven't tried yet, I'm going to take one more slice for myself. <laughs> okay, so that I can, we can oh, eat. Oh man, yeah. this pork belly. Okay. Yeah, and then they cut it really uh, nice and thin. This nice is the right. Thin, this yeah. is the right. Um, this is the right uh, thickness, thickness for, will, for yeah. shabu shabu. Shabu Shabu needs to be like 1 to 2 mm. Yeah? Mm. And, the, and the belly. Mm. Mm. Hmm? Oh. Mm. I mean, it's pork belly, yeah, so it's definitely very juicy. <laughs> mm. Bounce. Ah. Yeah. It's got a nice bounce. That's right. Bouncy texture. Mm. Nice. Mm. What do you all what do you all think? Grace wow. is saying that it's juicy because it's uh, belly, of course it's got no pocky smell. I think that's the main thing about Japanese pork, right? <coughs> mm. Oh, <laughs> Olivia says bouncing happily in her belly. <laughs> the belly is definitely very smooth. Yep, I agree with you, uh, Leonard. Mm. Yeah, May says that it's also uh, very bouncy as well. Mm. Okay. I'm just getting rid of some of the scum. Okay, so remember to take note of the the rating. How would you rate this? Um, just take note of it so that later on when you go and do the questionnaire, um, you can remember. Okay, okay so now it's the Kurubuta, right? Yeah, so we're going to be doing the um, mm, Kagoshima is Kurubuta, right? Okay. Okay, so this Kuru Buta, uh, remember it's a uh, black pig? Yes, the yeah. black pig and then um, it's from Kagoshima, which is mm. the southern part of Japan. Mm. Yeah, that's right. When it said that it is um, juicy, nice marbling, no pocky taste and Michelle said that it's very flavorful. So that's okay, good. Okay, I want to see, uh, have a look at that before I put it in. Mm -hmm. uh, Kuru Buta, again, black pig eating uh, sweet potatoes. Oh, okay. Okay. And uh, it is a premium pork lah. It's in, in Japan it's considered premium. Okay. Mm. Oh wow. So you don't overcook it, huh? Because you don't want to over I think the broth right now must be very nice also. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, there you go. Hmm? Wow, look at that. Yeah, it's a lot of fat. <laughs> la. But. <laughs> Kurubuta. Mm. Wow. Wow. Mm. Wow. Mm. Flavor. Eh? <laughs> Kurubuta is flavor, right? Wow. Umami is very strong. It's umami. very strong, beautiful floral notes to it. It's yeah. um, this, very this, umami. This one, I feel that we need to eat it with a bit of goma. 
Uh, I don't need. I don't need. You because don't need, uh. for me, it's already very fragrant. Yeah, that's why I need the yeah. the goma is to cut cut through the. No, no, later mm. then we do. Later you do later it lah. La. <laughs> after after this we have a pop feast. Okay. It's super flavorful. Yes, that's right. Yeah, mm. Connie says that the good marbling is adding texture to the pot from Kumamoto. Yes, Hui Ying says super <coughs> flavorful. I agree with you. It's very flavorful. I really love. I mean, when you taste it, it's like whoa! It hits you. you no. Know? Okay, Very so good. this one is the Keno Ike. Keno Ike, Keno Ike from, from uh, um, um, Miyazaki. Miyazaki. Mm. And this is the one, remember, that is eating the bamboo charcoal. Oh, this is the one with the bamboo charcoal, yeah. The bamboo charcoal, mm. okay. So, let's go. Um, let's see what the bamboo charcoal does with the pork. There you go. Mm -hmm. Oops, Oi. sorry, sorry. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oi! Okay, okay, sorry. Okay, alright. So that's, that, this one is a bit more lean. Uh, but I think <clears throat> whether it's lean or fat depends on yeah. which part of the which part of the pork belly. Okay. It's not necessary that all the pork will be like this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Mm. This is also very nice. It's also very nice. It's not as floral as the previous one, uh, but nonetheless, the flavor is very. Mm. Mm. It's not strong, la. Yeah. It's 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 a mm. characteristic of this cannot. Okay, yeah. That mm. you don't get a very strong pork flavor. <laughs> so you know, some people they like. I I talk to some people. They they want their uh, pork to be more flavorful. Yes. And then some they really cannot take uh, the porky flavor. Yeah. They want less. So if you have those people that um basically are averse to mm. very porky flavors, I think this one would mm. be very good for them. Yeah. Huh? Okay. It's, it's, it doesn't have the off. Yeah. Mm. Really, very just very yeah. mild. So some comments online. So Connie is saying that the uh, kurubuta is a floral note, but the texture. Uh, cannot win <laughs> the Kumamoto one. <laughs> wait, wait. Kurubuta cannot win the... The Kurubuta, which is basically from Kagoshima, right? Cannot mm. win the other one from uh, Kumamoto, la, the Hino, the Hinomoto. Oh, she, yeah. likes the, she likes the fire pork. Yeah, she oh, likes the wow. fire pork. Okay, yeah. good, she good. likes the texture of the fire pork. Yeah. yeah. And then Grace said this is triple A meat. Man, it's super good. <laughs> Which one? The this current one, eh? the, Canon, the, one. the yeah, Canon Nike. Yeah, the Canon Nike. Nike. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Mm. And then uh, Pui Ying says that the the flavor is more subtle uh, for the Canon, Canon Nike. Iki. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I'm glad you all are joining us. Uh. This is the first time we are doing something like this. <laughs> if you all really like it, right? Hopefully, uh, we can get more sponsors, you know, and we can, keep, we can yeah. do more of this. Yeah. Anyway, huh? for the people, 15 of you who are doing this, uh, yeah. I mean, give us your feedback in the questionnaire about the event as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah, it yeah. was good. Yeah, yeah. help us. Nah. Help <laughs> us. If you want to see more of this, please share with all your friends, you know, yeah. and tell them about this great event and then keep watching our channel. Hopefully, we'll get more uh, more yeah. sponsors and we can do more of this. Uh, I think it's quite fun nah. <laughs> on a Sunday. Okay. I mean, I've got a little, I'm going to do some more recipes. You know, this is my Sunday routine. Like. It's just right. resting at home, just doing, using uh, our mm. kitchen. Okay, I think you better move right okay, along. Okay, moving right. so much. <laughs> I must say that of this batch, right, of uh, pork belly, this is the most beautiful. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure that it is just that particular s section of pork belly that mm. we're getting. Yes. But this, this. It's most beautiful. Right. Look at all that. Oh. And it's a, like a, a really nice balance of fat and lean. But I, I, don't, I cannot say, I, I don't think I can say that every time you buy uh, this Hokkaido mm -hmm. pork, it's going to look like this. Because <laughs> different part of the pork value will have yes, different. Yeah? But we, right. we were given this one, which is yeah. beautiful. Remember the Yume no Daichi, right? The mm. dream of the land. From, Ho from Hokkaido. From Hokkaido. Yes, yes. that's right. Where, okay. they, where they rear their pigs. And they do <coughs> a crossbreed of four different types of breeds of, uh, uh, of, of pork. pork. That's right. right. And four what are the four, breeds. four breeds again? Uh, Landris, Yorkshire, Duroc 
and uh, Berkshire. And Berkshire. Berkshire wow. is the same as the Kurubuta. I see. Okay. So Kurubuta is actually Berkshire pig. Is it black? Ah. And so is the Duroc. And okay. the Landris and the uh, Yorkshire are white. But, but the pig, I was told, looks it's a, white. It's a white, white yes. pig. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, this is a dream pork. Yes, this right. is, Olivia's is a dream yeah, pork. Yeah, the dream of the <laughs> land. Man. Oh, Grace is saying the entire family is enjoying as tasters. <laughs> Excellent, well done, yes. <laughs> Open to more participants next time. Oh, Paul is asking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> Hopefully, yeah, yeah. yes, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If we can get enough uh, likes <laughs> and shares and enough reach, yeah. I'm sure the, the sponsors will be more generous next time. Yeah. Right? Okay, so continue okay. to share. Okay. Wow. Okay, so, okay, so here final we go. Tasting, final which one. Is basically the final one. Pot from Hokkaido, oh, the Yume, Yume no, no Daichi. Daichi. All right. I mean, now if you go, I mean, with the uh, Japanese pot promotion, right? Okay, mm -hmm. let's eat this first. Let okay, me just first. say. Yeah, you can. You definitely get a, a bit more aroma uh, from mm. this pot. Very hard for me to decide <laughs> which one I'm gonna buy. All of them are really good. All of them don't have that very strong pork flavor. This one, the flavor, the smell definitely is there. You can smell the pork yes, that's right. flavor. Very nice balance. And I tell you why. I tell you why I like the Hokkaido. It's okay. because they give you a nice big tray like this. <laughs> So you can just pick it up mm. and then just put it into the thing. So the presentation definitely it makes it easier for Shabu Shabu. Okay. But that's just packaging, all right? You can always take it out from the packaging and then lay it <laughs> out yourself. It's the same, but I... Wow. Between the four, right? I would say they're all good. And it will depend on which one I'm going to get a discount <laughs> on that day. You can just go and look at the website and go, oh, they're having a special on this. I'll just buy it. Can that I one. give some uh, comments here? So basically, yeah. Leonard says that this particular pork beats everything hands down. Really? All right, yeah. oh. and he's hoping that this is at affordable pricing so he can have this regularly. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I think it's going to be like this, right? As more of us consume the pork, then there'll be more Look, suppliers coming in, then I the price will become this, more affordable. I that Japanese meats uh, come at a premium because uh, in Japan, yeah. they, their farms are small. The farmers really just pay a lot of attention yes. to quality. So when you're buying Japanese pork, you are basically paying for all that. Like, it's the, yeah, quality the quality and the care. Yeah. And also safety. There's a lot of, uh, oh, you know, okay. they, they make food sure safety food safety. Well. And yeah. you know, the Japanese are very, very mm, particular, concerned, yeah. particular about mm. cleanliness and all yes. that. So, so you know that you are getting pork that has been raised in a very clean yeah. environment. They look after <laughs> all their thing. And uh, some of the, um, I think it's the, if I'm not wrong, the canonic I read in the website, they don't use any, uh, all these uh, antibiotics and all these things. Oh, okay. So they're very, um, very uh, um, concerned about all these issues. Yes. And... As I say, there are more than 400 pork brands. Mm. Every farmer has their own way of doing things. Yes. So you can actually just go into the website, find out more about the pork, mm. and then decide which one uh, mm. is suitable for you and mm. your family. Yeah. Alright, so a, a few other comments. So uh, Connie is saying that Hokkaido pork belly has a slight porky flavour, but it does have a chew texture for the marbling, and she prefers the loin over the belly. Good for you. Yes, that's right. Uh, Leonard says that the father-in-law and mother-in-law, oh, love me more if you can serve this regularly. <laughs> I'm just going to keep all this, right? Yeah, okay. And then, uh, and then Renith is saying that the soup actually doesn't look too oily. Yeah, that's amazing, right? I mean, the, the pork um, doesn't make the soup too oily. Okay. <coughs> Thank you, Tracy, for your comment. Uh, Drew, for the recommendation. <laughs> yes, that's right. And then uh, Oliver says that the soup tastes really good now. Yes, for sure. Okay, so this is the end of our tasting segment. We're going to get ready for um, so to cook our Hakka Zayuk next. But maybe this is a good time for me to do the next <coughs> giveaway, right? Dear, can I do that? Huh? Mm. All right. Okay, so for we are gonna be giving away, okay? Okay, drum roll please. Yeah, we are busy. <laughs> I got a lot of things to do. Okay, we're gonna be giving away 
one kilogram of the Hokkaido pork belly. All right. Oh, okay. that, that, that guy yes. must be like happy. What's his, what's his, what's his name? The guy Lawrence, oh, is it? What, what's oh, his Leonard, name? Leonard. Leonard, Leonard, okay, Leonard, okay. Leonard. Leonard must be super. One kilogram. One kilogram of yeah, the yeah, Hokkaido yeah. pork belly. Yeah, all yeah. Right? But don't eat all one kilogram by yourself all in one go. Okay, but oh, must yes. give other people a chance. Uh, let's yeah. see. Yeah. Okay. Mm, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, this is the question, all right? The question is, how many breeds of pig are there in the Hokkaido you may know Daichi pork? All right, let me repeat the question. How many breeds of pork or pigs are there in the Hokkaido you may know Daichi pork? Yeah, so, so what all she right? meant is how many different breeds have they crossed yes. in order to produce you may know Daichi yes. uh, pork? Okay. That's right. Okay, yeah, the dream of the land. How many are there? <coughs> okay, I'm just looking for a number. All right, I'm just looking for a number. Okay, all right. Oh, I see a couple of uh, comments coming in already. Okay, a couple of good uh, answers coming in already. Hmm? <coughs> oh. Alright, okay, got a couple of uh, good answers. Yeah, I think a number of you um, got pretty much the correct answer. <laughs> pretty much the correct answer. Alright, are you ready to start uh, cooking? Because I'm I getting think ready. I am ready to start. I'm getting ready. Okay, so the 15 ready. tasters, this is the time for you to get ready your... <coughs> Um, cooker to start frying your pork and also uh, also maybe a pot for you to uh, prepare the noodles if that's what you intend to have as well right we're just gonna have it with noodles uh, you don't have to but um, that's just a suggestion okay all right okay do you think it's time for me to uh, pick the winner unfortunately I only have one okay one winner we can't <coughs> have too many winners can I, okay? can I just uh, put put the stuff here where do you want to put it I put this at the side yeah Okay, but I do need to have a little bit of space. Yeah. Okay, put it aside here. Okay. All okay. right, can I announce the winner? Okay, thank <coughs> you all of you for participating. One but kilogram <laughs> of Hokkaido pork belly. Okay. <laughs> shabu, shabu, some more. <laughs> Ooh, hello. There, there all right, like. and the winner is. Eshban Vala. All right, congratulations Who? to Eshban Vala. Eshban Vala. Yes, yes. Wow. Eshban Vala has been very, uh, he's been wanting very to, to taste the pork. So this is your opportunity. Yes. <laughs> you. But don't worry, those of you who uh, still want to taste the pork, just go to the link and uh, you can click on it and can go and buy it. Yeah. yeah. So don't forget those of you who want to taste, I mean there is meatlovers.com.sg is giving away $20 if you buy minimum of $120. Yeah. Alright. Then and how about the other ones, uh, dear? There, there are two other uh, there are two other brands, uh, there are two other websites, right? Like the Niku, Niku Ichi, uh, and then there's one more, uh, Yakiniku Plaza, right? Yeah, Yakiniku and these Plaza. are the three websites that you can yeah, actually can buy. To, yeah. uh, and it's all in the link. Uh, yeah. in, uh, in that special website promoting Japanese pork, mm. you can read all about Japanese pork. You can also find out, those of you who don't cook, right? Don't worry, because there are some restaurants that are participating as well. Yes. So you can on the website find out about which restaurants you can go to taste the different kinds of uh, pork. So, mm. so it's, um, it's a good opportunity for us all to learn more about uh, Japanese yep. pork. And so appreciate after, it. after the live, we're going to put all the relevant links into the description of the video. So come back after the live, we're going to make sure that all these links to the recipe, to where you can buy the pork, to, where, uh, to also the voucher code as well, and all of that information, we're going <coughs> to make sure that it's on uh, the video description of this I have to get this video. going, I have to yeah. get this going. Okay, it's let's go. Chopped. 20, I'm not going to finish this in one and a half hours. Okay, go, go, go. We're gonna go. Okay, <laughs> so, um, so the pork has been marinated. So now what I'm going to do is to mix the flour uh, mixture. We've got plain flour. So it's one part plain, uh, so two part plain flour, one part rice flour, and one part corn flour. Mm. This is uh, the traditional recipe. This is the traditional recipe. 
So we are just gonna. But I know some of you all uh, actually went ahead to buy the Taiwanese flour. Yes. Right. Uh, and yes. that will also be very very nice. Yes. Yeah. Yes. The Taiwan. Um, so I'm just gonna mix this all up. Mm -hmm. I'll show you the. I mean, this is another. We're not we're not promoting this, but um, but we find that this sort of a Taiwanese uh, flour gives it a nice because the the grains are a bit rougher. So it gives it a nice uh, texture. We know some of you can't find it, so that's why we're using the more traditional recipe. You know, recipes are like this, they keep mm. evolving. Um, what grandma used to do last time uh, can be improved, in my opinion. Yes. Because right today, we are having a lot more ingredients, yes. uh, a lot more equipment. Mm. So there, there are new ways of doing things, there are new ingredients you can use in order to improve uh, mm. the recipe. Yep. All right, so recipes aren't supposed to be static. Mm. Uh, that's not. I I think so, because uh, you know everything is improving. Handphones improving, TVs improving, everything improving. Recipe <laughs> also improve with time. Okay, so we've got we've got the um, the pork belly which has been marinated. So mm. while it's this is quite dry. If it's dripping wet, right, you need to take off a bit of the marinade. But this is quite dry. Mm. So I'm just going to put the pork. Uh, into the flour mix. Oh, did you mari uh, marinate just now in the fridge or you No, no, I just left, it out, it, on, uh, left it out here. Okay, all Okay, right. so I'm just basically, once you have enough flour, just, yeah. okay, pat and make sure that the flour sticks onto the pork and then you mm -hmm. get rid of the extra mm -hmm. and then just lay the pork on a rack. On a rack. Right? Oh, okay. Important to put it on a rack, okay? Mm -hmm. You want the marinade to, you want the marinade to absorb the flour before you start frying it. Okay, I'm just basically just pressing the flour onto the meat, then just get rid of the excess flour, mm. just lay on the rack, and then the it needs to sit for at least 5 or 10 minutes, so, okay. Oh, okay. I think we're doing uh, in good time. Are we? Yes, we okay. are. Yeah. So we're supposed to be sorry lah, but this is are your lunchtime or <laughs> <laughs> lunchtime. But those of you who have uh, been tasting the pork along with us, yeah. you already been having a bit of a lunch. So this is free. And Okay. What type of flour did you put in? So maybe just remind them of the recipe. I got plain flour, mm -hmm. corn flour, rice flour. Yeah. Okay, why do we use all these different kinds of Flour. I mean, some of you might be must be wondering why why so complicated. Why can't I just use uh, plain flour, or why can't I just use uh, corn flour yep. or rice flour? Because every uh, all these different flours, right? They have their own uh, mm. characteristics. Yeah. Okay. All right. So this is done. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna leave it for a while. All right. So we're just getting ourselves organized <coughs> here. So. There you go. Okay, so so plain flour uh, has got certain kind of characteristic. It's got gluten in it. Mm. So if you're just going to use plain flour, you're not going to get the kind of texture you want. The rice flour adds an extra crunch. The way that rice flour, uh, when, you, when you fry rice flour, right, it becomes uh, really very crispy, very airy. But you lack that uh, the gluten structure at, mm. the, at the bottom. So, so by mixing all the different kinds of flour, I get the kind of um, texture I'm looking for. Okay, so the next question that people always like to ask. What, is what kind of oil? oil? <laughs> what kind of oil do you use for mm. deep frying? So you want, a, you want an oil, you want to use a vegetable oil. Actually, in, in traditional, right, you use a pork lard, which mm. is a high saturated mm. fat oil. Okay. Um, but um, uh, for the modern uh, cooking, you use vegetable oil. I like to use uh, coconut oil when I deep fry. Can I just this is coconut oil. Oh, okay. Coconut oil and palm oil when you deep fry, right? Uh, once you take it out of the deep fryer, the 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 food or the the, the pork will be nice and it will look very dry. Yeah. 
Okay, so yeah. Olivia's asking, can she cut the meat into smaller pieces before frying? Sure, 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 sure. You yeah. can do that. You can do yeah. that. You, you can, can cut you into can, smaller you can, pieces and coat it. You can even it. cut into bite-sized piece if you want. Yeah, and then coat it with the flour and then you can fry. Yeah, it's up to yeah. you. Yeah. Just, I'm going to use um, just a shallow fry. Like. We're not going to fry all of it. Mm. Okay. Okay, you can use uh, coconut oil, which is a more uh, higher saturated fat. Mm. Coconut oil has a... It's a very high mm. um, smoke point. Uh, it's saturated, and when you fry using coconut oil, all the all whatever you fry won't look greasy when it when it when when it comes to room temperature. Mm. So, so there's a question. She's mm. asking when she, if she does it, does it make a difference to the texture of the meat? The meat itself, no. Mm. It's the crust. Ah, you want crust. you want <laughs> when you deep fry crust. anything, okay. you want the crust to be nice and mm. crispy, and yet not. Greasy. Yes. So, so I learned this from the yutakwe uh, sellers, you know. Okay. The yutakwe, those people who do yutakwe and and hanjin peng. You have a quick look at their kitchen, and then you look and you spot, you see what kind of oil they use. Uh, and they use coconut oil because coconut oil is a little bit more expensive. Mm. They always tell you, oh, you know, I I spend more on the oil yeah. because because it's better for frying and all yeah. these things, right? Okay, so you want to fry this at a quite a low temperature as well. Hold on. Uh. Okay, alright. So I think he's going to get his thermometer, alright, to make sure that he can... Uh, but I think you need to also give people some idea. Those who do not have thermometer, then what, what do they do? <laughs> Hold on. Uh. Yeah. Use the, so somebody suggests say use hands. Ah, okay. <laughs> Nonsense. <laughs> <la. laughs> Okay, I hope you guys are enjoying yourself. Uh, here we are. We are bas for those of you who just joined, hello, welcome. Okay, I'm gonna... <laughs> We are basically um, doing a Hakka Zayok recipe using Japanese pork. Alright, we've just finished tasting uh, a, lot, a bunch of different uh, brands of Japanese pork, uh, pork belly and pork loin, shabu shabu meats. Okay, uh, we've done two giveaways already. So we've got one more last giveaway. Uh, before we end the show, alright? <coughs> so, okay, the okay. oil is almost there. Almost there? Uh, okay. I want it to fry at about 140, mm. 130, 140, so that it doesn't brown, uh, yet the, the, the heat is good enough to start melting the fats. Ah, okay. So you want to fry it low, and start to melt the fats, and then after that, we'll do one last fry at 180, 190, mm. to crisp up the, uh, the batter. Ah, As you can okay. see, uh, the, the flour, Right, the the pork has the the marinade has absorbed the flour so that it okay. doesn't look white anymore. Ah, okay. In fact, you can use you can go for a bit longer. All right. So you almost want it to be fully absorbed. Yeah, you want it to be okay. absorbed, or else the flour will look white when you ah, when you serve it. You I want see, it to I be, see. you want it to be that you know reddish bronze color, right? Mm. Uh, after you fry, and you don't want the flour to come out, lah. Basically, okay. when you when you pick it up, right. <laughs> The flour, the flour shouldn't be flying around uh, anymore. Okay. It should All actually, right. actually can go a bit longer lah, But All we right. are short of time, so. So those of you just now we said you said it's just a joke ah, please. <laughs> it's only a joke, please. Okay, so this this you can see that the oil when it starts to have that kind of convection current, right? Mm. It's now at about hundred and forty. Actually, this is a very nice temperature. Once you put in the 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 pork, right? You, mm. It should be quite nice. Yeah. So Carol is asking, what is the name of the Taiwan flour? Um, the link to the all the ingredients we're using, including the Taiwanese flour, is uh, if you go to the recipe that I've pinned, you go to the um, the write up of our recipe. The link to the Taiwanese flour is there. Okay. So you can have all the information to all the different ingredients that we are using. Mm. Okay. All right. So for those fifteen of you who are cooking along with us, how are you going? I hope you're going well. Are you ready to start frying the pork? All right. Yes. Hi, Alicia. Thanks for joining. What flour to use? Okay. Just now, the flour that was using is a combination of rice flour, plain flour, and also corn flour. Is that right? Rice flour. Yeah. What two parts plain? One rice and one corn. Yeah, that's right. That was what we use. But, you, okay. but of course, you can also use some of the Taiwanese flour as an alternative. Okay, I'm just well. going to uh, start frying the pork now. Okay. Okay, lay the pork away from you. Oh. Right, away from you. Okay, when you put it in, you should see that the bubbles are just sort of yeah, gentle. Yeah. Very gentle yeah. fire, right? Okay, Angela's okay. waiting for the oil. Shake Olivia's off, ready. Chelsea's shake ready. Off the, yeah. Shake off the excess flour. Okay. It's laid away from you. Okay. 
So you want to maybe do it for about five minutes or so. Okay, okay. so put on the timer, is it? I put on the timer. La. Because, <laughs> you know, uh, you know, the, the old, the old, the, 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 the aunties uh, and uncles will tell you, or oh, aga aga, you know, you look. And, okay, so that is really good. But after you uh, gain some experience cooking, yes. then you can really yeah. uh, be able to know how to cook that way. Yes. Okay, so, but in the way, if you are a beginner, I, if I tell you fry for five minutes, actually, it really depends on your temperature and everything. So oil. I give you the temperature, yeah. I tell you it's a lot for five minutes, but mm. at the end of the day, you still need to look at the at the ah, food itself. Whether it's browning and whether it's like browning yeah. or anything. Okay. Mm. So the, the principle of this uh, portion of the cooking right uh, demo, mm. the principle is that you want you want the heat not to be too high mm. so that the crust becomes brown before the inside of the pork is cooked. Oh yes. So right. if you have very high heat, if you're high, if, let's say you're cooking at 190, mm. outside will be nice, uh, will be brown yes. before the inside is yes, cooked. Yes, that's right. Yeah. So what we want to do is a two-stage cooking process where you have the heat hot enough to cook the inside nicely, to start melting the fat and giving, uh, you know, to, to make sure that fat is nice and tender. But at the same time, you don't need to be, uh, you don't want to brown the outside too quickly. Mm. So if you keep the temperature below 100 and mm. Uh, 160 okay yeah. that will happen you see the temperature Someone's is now about asking where to get a good uh, thermometer online <laughs> you see I'm, I'm the temperature now you see this kind of bubbles right yes the temperature is 130 so at 130 all the sugars and it's not gonna brown too quickly yeah right anything above that right the sugars start to brown very fast uh. Uh, when you say sugar, I mean the flour, whatever, all yeah. the carbohydrates, right? Mm. So, so you want it to be sort of like this, this kind of low temperature, and then so that you can uh, properly get the the pork to cook the, the inside nicely before yeah. the outside becomes too brown. Okay, very good. Okay, so I hope uh, the fifteen of you are starting to uh, do your frying already. Okay, so. Mm. Hope they're getting very nice smells in your house, in your kitchen. <laughs> okay, you can use your thermometer to also check the in, in, inside temperature of the pork. Mm. Okay, see the inside temperature of the pork, like at the right. right inside, it's already 60, 63 degrees. So actually, it's, it's already cooked oh, inside. inside yeah, the yeah, pork. Yeah, inside the pork, yeah. Oh, you yeah, see. You can oh, 60 see, over degrees. Yeah, 60. Yeah. You see, the inside is already cooked already. Oh, okay. But I just like to lower the temperature a bit, let the pork render. You know, I learned this from, uh, who no? I, I learned this from the Hainanese satay hawkers. Oh. So the Hainanese satay hawkers always tell me, oh, when you grill satay, uh, you cannot be high heat. Not yeah, like the blazing fire. No, not like the Malay style. The yeah. Malay style is very high heat, yes. blazing fire, yeah. right? But the, but the Hainanese, when they grill satay, they say low heat, slow, so that you let the fats melt. Ah. So it's the same principle. Mm. We, we have a low heat, we don't want it too high. You see the bubbles? Later when you see the bubbles, huh? mm. later when I turn up the heat, you see the bubbles will be very high and very, like, like very aggressive. Okay? I see, okay. So, so, so this part of the cooking process, just cook the inside of the pork. Don't want it to be too brown. Mm. Okay, you see, okay. It's, it's quite nice really. Chelsea huh? said that it's the first time frying anything because usually they air fry. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I know air fry is convenient, huh? But uh, I'm not a big fan of air frying because I think that, you know, there's nothing like this. Yeah. Once you eat this... Okay, so... Uh, if, so well, okay, I'll say something. If you do this and then you keep it in the fridge, the next round you can air fry. Ah, okay, okay, okay. You'll be fine, yeah. yeah. See, I'm just keeping it a bit longer because I want the... The higher you bring the temperature of the pork, right, the, yes. the, 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 the sort of connective tissues will start to break down. Oh. You know, it takes a long time to cook. La, but, but you can see that, you know, it's almost there already. You oh, see the, okay. the colour and everything is almost there. And the temperature is getting up. So I think we're going to take this out. It's almost about five minutes. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm going to take this out. You can see, it's a nice thin layer. Let's put this out. And let it rest. Let it rest. 
okay so I'm just gonna leave it to rest I'm gonna okay. get rid of this oil later on we'll uh, come and heat up the oil again oh okay all right okay that's the alarm Yeah, so that's the alarm at the moment. So we've already uh, cooked one batch of the Hakata yolk. So now it's just resting on the wire rack. <laughs> so of course you can uh, cook the others. Uh, of course you can air fry this, right? But well, I guess you can try both ways. Like, you can decide which is better, whether you like it to be uh, oil fried or you like to uh, air fry it, right? The differences like, for sure. Mm. Okay, uh, Grace. Yeah. Gonna cut down on the I'm okay. Mm. All right. Okay. Grace is basically uh, using a wok. All right. Her oil temperature is still quite high at 180. Wow, that's quite high. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's too yeah. high, Grace. Yeah. You're gonna burn your pot mm. before it gets enough time to. Yeah. Cook. So the question is, do yeah. you recycle the oil or you throw it away? Well, we we will be in fact using the oil later on. You can no, see. No, no, no. We will. Yeah. We you can recycle the oil. Don't throw the oil away. Look. Yeah. This uh, especially if you are using coconut oil, you take out all this stuff, right? This is the stuff. This in the oil too long, it will start to turn the yeah. oil brown. So that's why you always want to get rid of it, right? You you try to filter and you take, get rid of all this oil. Mm. And now I'm gonna heat this up to. Uh, 190 and then I quickly blanch and quickly crisp up the packets uh, the okay all right so basically it's the same oil uh, just that we remove the uh, the crispy uh, bits out there and then now I think it's the next part of the frying where we're going to be bringing up the heat of the oil and then so that we can really crisp up and brown um, the, the outside okay all right so thank you so much all of you who are joining us here uh, <laughs> Olivia say Grace please be careful of the hot oil thank you helping each other out it seems it's a uh, Grace first time <laughs> yeah, first time frying uh, Grace deep fry la. yeah okay. so patient also say they don't typically deep fry okay. it's quite a treat for your yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. so so if you if the oil is too hot right uh, the fastest way to bring down the temperature is add, add some cold oil uh, add some new oil onto it mm. right yeah. Okay. So I mean, coconut I, oil is quite available these days. I mean, you look yeah. around; most supermarkets will carry them. Yeah. Okay. So, mm. so you want it to be a really, you know, you start to bubble up. Yes. Uh, you see, slowly, yeah. Oh, okay. uh, the oil will start bubbling so up. So you bring up to what temperature? One one eighty, one ninety. Mm. See, I'm bring up. So so the the second part of the cooking, is actually quite aggressive. The the heat it will be. Oh yes, more bubbles in yeah, the oil. Definitely, yeah. you see a lot of bubbles. Mm. Just heat it up for another few minutes. Okay, see? It's already 180, right? Mm. Okay, so... The traditional way of checking it, uh, they say, oh, put one wooden a chopstick, a wooden chopstick in. Stick. Then you should be able to see all the bubbles oh, coming out from yes. the chopstick. Lots right? of bubbles in the chopstick. Lots of yeah. bubbles. You see? Yeah. Lots of bubbles. Aggressive. Yeah, okay. Make sure that the camera is able to capture that first. Let's okay. See. So this part uh, is very fast. We're going to do the... Okay, all right. This part is very fast. The, this is already cooked. Wait, wait, wait. Make sure everyone's ready or not. <laughs> okay, this oil is getting... You see, smoking ready, right? Oh, okay. Let's go. All right, so just put it in. Woo! All right. Okay. This will only go for half a minute, right? It doesn't take very long to crisp up. Nice. Okay, so Ooh. this is where, after you rested it, right, all the water vapor goes out of the batter, and then you just basically have a quick. Wow, so fast, ah? Yeah, yeah, it's very fast, very fast. So, so this is where you drive out the excess. You see, it's already so brown already. Wow. Very fast. You see, it's so fast. Okay, then you just leave it. Okay, and that's ready. So what we're gonna do now is to prepare the shallot oil mm. for the uh, for the hakka chayok. Okay, wait, wait. Just make sure everybody's okay. All right. Anyone? How 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 are our tasters and cooks? Have you all fried your first your batch of uh, hakka chayok yet? Okay. I Oliver say ah. Okay. I don't know what happened there. 
I hope you are safe. <laughs> All right, cool and down. Emma is asking, is double frying the secret to crispiness? Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Absolutely, yeah. Because the first fry is really just to cook the inside, and then the second fry is really crisp to outside. crisp the outside. Ooh. Yes, <coughs> that's right. Um, okay, la, um, uh, technically what happens... Eh, where's my... Uh, and Kim Fai is saying that it's smelling very nice. Yes, it's smelling very good here. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to get... Oh, okay. Renit is uh, waiting to fry at a higher temperature. Okay. Oh, Olivia is ready. Oh, oh, good. Thank you, Olivia. I'm glad you're okay. <laughs> okay, I'm just getting re ready my uh, wow. scallion. Yushan, Yushan is already frying her second batch. <clears throat> wow. Okay, I, I'm, I'm going to start frying the... Okay, the scallion oil. Okay, all right. So, this is now... Uh, so, this is the, the oil that we used just now. We're just chopping up some scallion with our spring onion. Okay, this is my oil thing, so careful lah. Mm. I better do it here. <laughs> safer, safer, yeah. Okay, so basically, we like to use these oil containers with a filter at the top, so they filter off any, uh, any remnants, any bits that's uh, over fried. Okay. Oh, okay, so this oil, right? It's coconut oil, but it's now been flavoured with the Hakka Tsayo already. So it's actually flavoured oil already, right? Mm. Okay. <coughs> oh, oh, Shri, Shri Min is only starting her first batch. Oh, dear. Okay. <laughs> or just started the first batch. Okay. No worries, no worries. No worries. Yeah. Where's my... Oh, Angelia is already done. It's looking awesome. Yay! That's okay. great. Okay. Alright. So we've got a bit of the... Um, The oil? Of the oil. We mm. don't need too hot now, nah, this one. Mm. You can just throw in the, the end bits first. Yep. Okay, all this I think end you can go a little bit more to the left, dear. Huh? I think you've got space. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. Alright. Mm. I just got to actually flatten uh, this. Oh, you yeah, flatten some of yeah, it. Just... Yeah, nice. Go. Alright. Okay, now I'm just frying up the scallion, right? Yep. So when you're doing scallion oil, actually you can afford to just do a bit more lah. Because it's really nice lah. Okay, so it's about half a cup of oil left of that frying oil, right? Mm. Half a cup left. So I fry the, the white bits first. Yep. And uh, basically you want to fry this until it's like chow ta, you know? Mm. Really blackened. That's when the flavor really comes out. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, so this is a very, very traditional uh, recipe I picked up from uh, one of these uh, very classic um, Chinese cooking books, right? Yep. And and uh, a lot of times you think, you know, uh, things have to be very complicated, but, but actually things don't need to be so complicated. <laughs> uh. The simple things are often the best, you know? Yes. And uh, so this gallon oil noodle is one of those Really simple things that I really come to come to really love. Okay. Would they have any burnt bitter taste? Which one? This one? Won't no. have any burnt bitter taste. No, no. Yeah. You get a really nice, mm. nice, yeah. nice taste. And the question is, uh, how long can you store the scallion oil for? Oh, you can put it in the fridge. Can store for quite a while, I think. Really. Mm. Yeah. I don't know, I would say more than a week is fine. I mean, you put it in the freezer, you can store forever. <laughs> I mean, the oil... Not oil, forever, la, yeah. Yeah, you can, yeah, you can put oil... Time, yeah. Okay, so on a low heat, okay, sort of like a moderately, this is very low. You just want the heat to be enough to, to flavor, you're basically just flavoring the oil. Okay. Okay. So the oil is already flavoured with the Hakka Tsa yolk, right? So now yeah. it's added flavour. Yeah. I mean, I only fried two. La. Yeah. So you're not going to get... Too much, is it? Too much of a... Okay. Little yeah. bit. La. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Okay, Tracy said you make cooking an easy task for a working mum. <laughs> thank you very much. I say thank you on your behalf. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad that you like oh, it. Oh, Puying is already eating the pork already. Yeah, I told you, right? <laughs> How is Must it? cook more. How, how is it? How is how it? Is it? <laughs> oh, 
Olivia say what? You can store the oil forever, ah? Uh, ah, no lah, not no forever. No lah, not la. forever. Ah, <laughs> uh, how burn the scallion in first time? Oh yes, absolutely. Okay, the scallion. Yes. I, I put the white in now. I put the green salt yes. in as well. And then we just we just basically want to cook it at this kind of like level, huh? Mm. Just blah, 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 away. Actually, if I had two stove, I can start cooking. Actually, I should cut, start cooking the noodles, right? Or else yeah. you'll be waiting a long okay, time. Okay, Puying is saying that the yeah, Puying said that her pork was very it's very juicy. Huh? Good job, Puying. Very juicy. <laughs> I only got one stove. Where's my uh, yeah? Renet is loving the aroma from Megan. Frying. Can you get the induction the cooker? The, in, and uh, Dan, how is your seventeen-year-old uh, son doing with the cooking? Is it there? Induction? No, no, no. I haven't no, no, heard no, no, from no, no. you, Dan, for a bit. Down there, uh, on top of the beans, on the right. On the right. Yes, that's right. I think I better stir this a little bit. Okay, all right. I think we're just trying to get another cooker to fry the, to cook the noodles. Okay, uh, this part is, uh, I guess, optional for those of you. Okay, start. I'll start heating up. Okay. Sorry, just running out of time, so I better start ran doing... Ran out of gas. Oh, Dan says he's ran out of gas. <laughs> now he's waiting for the gas delivery. Oh, dear. <laughs> no worries, you can totally... Uh, do the cooking after the show, for sure, and tell us how it how it goes. Yeah, but hopefully you had a chance to taste the pork uh, during the shabu shabu. All right. Yeah. All right. Yes, Olivia says that uh, it's crispy on the outside, very juicy on the inside. Well done, Olivia. Good job. Okay. <laughs> Oli oh no! Yeah. Brandon said that it's loving the aroma from frying the scallion. Mmm, yeah. Nice. Okay, I'm going to start boiling this, right? Okay. Okay, and I'll start yeah. cooking the noodles. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, remember that we have uh, one last giveaway to, to give. But right now, I just want to remind everybody that there is a uh, $20 promotion from midlovers.com.sg. All right, all you need to do is spend a uh, minimum of $120 uh, and you get this $20 off. All right, uh, and there's a promo code that you need to use. Uh, I believe the promo code is uh, live sale 20 um, when you put it. And the promotion is good until um, the end of March. All right, so all of you uh, take advantage of this promotion at meatlovers.com.sg all right so that you can taste okay dear are we uh, going to make sure that we don't overcook the scallion right i forgot to take out this stuff <laughs> all right okay so this is how it's like with life right when we do life you get to see a behind the scenes of everything that's going on <laughs> okay okay here we go how is it Okay, yeah, you think that yeah, when you get to this stage, you think oh, it's is it it's a little, done. It's a little done. No, it's oh, not. not yet, it's not. That's the oh. thing. You have to really just get it, chow da. <laughs> yeah, really chow I know. Da. Yes, because you're not eating the scallion. Oh. You want the see, smokiness. I see. I see. So the smoky flavor come out. Oh when it's right. Okay. Really chow da. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, huh? so yes. we got that, we got the noodles. Yes, the pork belly that uh, the 15 tasters who received, the pork belly for the Taka Hakatayo is from Kumamoto, okay? The Hinomoto brand from Kumamoto, yes. Ah, okay, that's great. Yeah. Okay, okay, oh, uh, you see? It's almost it's almost, already. Yeah, I yeah. see. Yeah. Nice and fragrant, you see, as you, as you chai it, right, the fragrance really come out. Mm. Yeah, okay. So so this is the key. You really have to slow heat, ah. Don't don't too fast. Not too fast, is you it? You want to coax all that flavor out, oh. and then caramelize the sugars oh. in the shallot, and then all that uh, nice aroma comes out. Yeah. Okay, don't worry because you're not eating this stuff. Yes, that's right. You're eating you're the eating oil. It. Okay, mm. you're not eating this stuff. You want the oil to be nice and 
and flavoured nicely. Yeah. Leonard is saying that, wow, thank you very much. He's very scared, never done this before. <laughs> Leonard never done what? Scallion oil? Scallion oil before, yeah. yeah. Very scared to burn it. I <laughs> also didn't know about this, so this is good. Yeah, I'm learning also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, this is see? good, yes. Just let it go. Yeah. Then get this to the uh, really rolling boil, you know. Oh, okay. you, you want it to be really just the other, boiling uh, very hot. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, all of you, for joining us on this uh, rainy Sunday uh, afternoon now, I guess. <laughs> yeah, hope yeah. you're enjoying um, the cooking and the tasting. Yeah, yeah, and those yeah. of you who are just watching, hope okay. you're enjoying it as well. Yes. What, what, what is better mm. to do than uh, <laughs> on a rainy Sunday than to do some cooking in your kitchen, you know? Yes. A wonderful thing about cooking is mm. that you know, everybody gets to enjoy it at the end. Mm. Okay, I'm going to throw in the noodles. Oh, okay, so you need to bring the water to a rolling this is, boil. This is basically it? lamian. Yeah, yeah. this is lamian. This is lamian. Okay. okay, which you can get from the shops. Mm -hmm. Okay, actually you need a bigger pot, lah, but okay. I didn't. Yeah. So this lamian there, you can... Oh, this is done. Mm. Okay, turn so, off the so, fire first? Yeah, turn off the fire. So this is like done, right? Okay, so I'm just going to get rid of the oil. Ooh. Okay. Alright. I think the lamin is really going on a rolling ball at the moment, so I'm just uh, okay. going to yep. stir it up a little bit. Okay. Alright, okay, so we are almost coming to the end of our cooking already. The hakka tzayok is done. Done. So we are just now noodles cooking up the done. noodles. Done the scallion oil. Okay. Mm, come, come. Oh. This, this noodle doesn't take very long to cook. Okay, it may be about one or two minutes. Ooh. Actually, mm. Mm. It's done already. Eh? You see how already? fast it is. Okay. They always say instant noodles fast to cook good to eat, right? <laughs> it's even, even faster. <laughs> Actually, you, you know, it's so much faster. Okay, alright. So, uh, three minutes. The first batch done, now doing the second batch. Ooh. Alright. I hope some of you are also going to try the lamian recipe. Okay, just basically get rid of the mm. excess Yay. water. Tony said that the hatsayak was very, very flavorful. Yep. Good job, Tony. I'm just going to add some of this oil. Ah, just the, directly here. Okay, yeah, I see. So, mm. so basically just to make sure it doesn't, mm -hmm. it doesn't stick, lah, right? Okay. Alright, so do you want to prepare it? Uh, okay, so you basically put the oil onto the noodles just when it's just come out of the well, this, water. Yeah, la, it? it's just to make sure that it doesn't, doesn't stick. La, huh? mm -hmm. Actually, you can just throw in the oil here. You move to the left a bit. <coughs> okay, so you put a bit of the oil and then uh, some soy sauce. Okay. It can't be easier than this. Right, yep. and then just take uh, your your noodles. A bunch of noodles. Now, if you, I mean, if you are gonna be leaving it there for a while, this is what you can do, lah. Mm. But if you're gonna just put the noodles straight into the into the uh, sauce, then just add the noodles straight into the sauce. I just throw everything mm -hmm. and give it a nice toss. Then how much soy sauce, how much oil you want is up to you lah. Huh? But uh, just basically have a very, you, you don't want to have a too complicated a noodle, you know, for this dish. Mm. Okay. Wow. 
I tell you, this is simple, but it's really very, very delicious, this thing. <laughs> Something we really, really enjoy. Okay, so we do have... Um, are you ready to start plating? Yeah, we are. You're going to taste it first? Oh, a bit more? Mm. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we've got noodles. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Alright. So while you're getting ready, can I run the last uh, giveaway? Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, are you all ready for the final giveaway? If you are, please give me a thumbs up or a love or a hug or something like this. <laughs> so that I know that you're ready. <laughs> okay. Wow. I think, okay, yes, it's starting to come in. Yes, are you ready for the final giveaway? In the final giveaway, we are going to be giving away a $100 voucher on your Kiniku Plaza. Woo, okay, you can buy $100 worth of Japanese pork from your Kiniku Plaza. Alright, isn't that great? <laughs> oh, but before that, there's a question. I think Tracy is asking, can we add minced garlic into the noodle? Up to you. You can do anything you want. Minced garlic raw is a little bit <laughs> uh, raw minced garlic is a little bit uh, yeah. harsh. Yes, yeah. that's right. If you want to fry some garlic and put it in the noodle, yeah, sure you can do that. No <laughs> okay, yes, that's right. Yeah, but this is a scallion oil uh, recipe, so yeah, I'm um, just gonna cut ready, yeah. Huh? Okay, let's cut first. Okay. Let me move this aside. Mm. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> okay, so that's my uh, Hakka Tayuk with uh, scallion oil noodle recipe. <laughs> All done. And. Uh, what are you looking for? Yeah, we're looking for chopsticks. Uh. Mm. <sighs> Is there anything else to do? Yes, we haven't done the final giveaway. I haven't done the final giveaway. Yes. Okay, okay, but we need to try this lah. Yeah, you eat first. Okay, no, 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 mm. give you this. No, you, you eat. I, I ah. can't be doing too okay. many things. Yeah. Okay, so here you go. I, I, you know, these noodles are, you know, it's very basic. You take it from the back there. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Are you all ready with your noodles? I think maybe I'm too fast lah. Mm. So we're running a bit out of time. Look at the beautiful piece of meat. And then that piece of meat. Crispy, yummy, noodles, starchy, a bit sweet, mm, toothy. Mm, nice. Mm. <laughs> really. Okay, while he's enjoying it, I'm going to ask the question so that we can get the answers coming in. All right, the final giveaway question, all right, mm. is this, okay, for $100... Uh, voucher at Yakiniku Plaza for you to buy Japanese pork. The question is, name at least two brands that we featured today and where they are from. Okay, all you need to do is to name at least two brands that we featured today and where they are from. Okay, unfortunately we only can, can only give away one hundred dollar, one one hundred dollar Yakiniku Plaza voucher for you to buy your Japanese pork, okay? Mm. So all you need to do is to name at least two Japanese brands that we featured today uh, and where they're from, okay? All right, so mm. hope to see all your <coughs> answers starting to come in. All right, how is the, how is it? No good. Huh? No nice. No nice? No. Nah. You better don't eat. Oh! <laughs> He's trying to trick me, so he can eat it all by himself. <laughs> okay, alright. So, hopefully, somebody wants to help me choose a winner. Mm. Uh, well, they are, yeah, you better try lah. Okay, wait lah, just hang on. Okay, let, let, me, me, let, me, let, let, me, let me just go, go off, off the camera first.
<clears throat> okay. Are you ready? Sorry? Are you ready? You try uh, yeah, some? yeah, I'll, I'll try some. Yeah. Okay, here you go. I'm going to try some of this. Hakka Tsayo with uh, scallion oil noodles. Actually, the Hakka Tsayo, I mean, we only marinate it for half an hour. Mm. It's not too bad, really. No? Huh? This overnight thing may not, you know, you may really may not need it. Huh? Huh? Mm. You can actually do it in half an hour. Okay. I'm going to say that the when yeah. you marinate for half an hour, yeah. it's good enough. Yeah. But I think when you marinate overnight, it's yeah. really, really good. Yeah. yeah. And then the Japanese pork, uh, the fats and all, mm. uh, the, the flavor is very good. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I think we are. What we got to do, we got to announce the winner and then we can go and eat, ready, right? <laughs> it's been two hours, leh. Thanks no, for no, no, it hasn't been two hours. We started oh, oh, at 11. Almost, almost two hours, yeah. <laughs> it's been two hours, so mm. our camera crew also getting hungry already. Okay, wow, we're getting quite a few answers coming in. So, uh, let's see. Okay, thank you so much. Yes, I, feel, I see a couple of uh, answers coming in. So, remember that we're looking for just two brands and where they're from. Hmm... <coughs> Okay. Any? We're just waiting for some. Yes, that's right. Okay, so while we are waiting for the uh, the winners, well, I just want to thank you all for uh, spending your Sunday morning with us. Um, remember to like and share, okay? Because it helps to uh, get. <laughs> You know, if you enjoy this our session, yeah. we need to have more sponsors. We can get more sponsors mm. uh, and we can conduct more of these classes. Okay. So just make sure you like, share, tell all your friends. Make sure you support uh, Japanese pork. Go to the website and uh, go and have a look around. Find out where you can eat uh, the Japanese pork at various restaurants, uh, the specials that they're having. And of yeah. course, all the different uh, online sites that you can buy your Japanese pork. Yeah. And go and try some uh, Japanese pork. I think those of you who have <coughs> tried the... Shabu Shabu just now, right? Uh, convinced that it really is a very nice pork for Shabu Shabu. Mm. Mm. Okay, alright. So, I think I'm ready to announce the winner of the $100 Yakiniku Plaza voucher. Okay. And the winner is... Drum roll. Joelle JP. Woo! Well. Done. Congratulations! One kilo. No, not one kilo. It's one hundred dollar. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Hundred dollar <laughs> voucher. Yes, hundred dollar voucher to buy uh, any of your the Japanese pork at Yakiniku Plaza. Well mm. done. Well I'm done. Have a Japanese pork piece. <laughs> yeah, okay. that's right. Okay, so just to remind everybody, there is a uh, so. Okay, so for, thank you all of you for joining. Those of you who didn't win, never mind. There is the twenty dollar. Uh, meat lover uh, voucher. There's a, a rather promotion going on at the moment. Yeah. So you get twenty dollars off um, if you buy a minimum of one hundred and twenty dollars. Okay, I think there's free shipping as well. So you just uh, need to use this voucher code live sale twenty, and this voucher uh, or rather this promo code is available until the end of March. Okay. Oh, I'm too tired already, dear. <laughs> I'm uh, ready to. Uh... Just start eating. Yes, that's right. Okay, all right. I'm, 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 I'm sure they also want to go for lunch. <laughs> so. Okay, so thank you everybody for joining us. You've been such a great uh, audience. And thank you the 15 tasters and yeah. uh, cooks. Uh, scan the QR code on the uh, recipe card. All right. And um, give us your feedback on the questionnaire. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Okay, are we ready to sign off or not? Yes, we are. I think we better let them go. La. They're all wanting to go and eat lunch. <laughs> okay. So thanks very much. And uh, until next time, happy cooking. And we wish you all a very blessed Sunday. Yes, and sayonara. Bye-bye. Yeah,